anime cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in Infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Fight for the Iron Kingdoms as a Warcaster. Take control of the mighty Jax, arcane devices and dark sorceries to bring the fight to the War Machine Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Hi guys, welcome to Let's Play Terminator Genesis. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, I'm joined by Alessio Cavatori. Welcome to the show. I'm in Europe. And I'm of course joined by Masari John Lyons. Mm -hmm. This is the first demo game you've been against me on on camera, I think. It is, yes, and I am hoping that my fantastic human resistance <laughs> are going to just smash whatever junk you have lying around junk? here. Junk? Excuse me, I am fighting with the finest technology of Skynet, the endoskeleton. I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put it right out there, okay? Right. Humans made Skynet. Yeah. You are our tech. We're just taking you back. <laughs> yeah, but I kinda nuked the the entire planet as we can see on the board. It's fine. It's a little it's bit fine. ruined and wrecked here. We're we're taking it back. <laughs> it's all our stuff anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh as you can see, we have deployed already on the table. So I've got all of my endoskeletons in and around a nice little base complex here with a time disp displacement uh facility right at the back. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing that's going to be your objective for that, this game. That is it. I need the big weapon. Yeah. Uh, you, on the other hand, are deployed all around the board. So yeah. you've got a unit here. Mm -hmm. You've got a van up there for some reason. Yeah, we don't know why that's there. I okay, we've you. got a couple of pickup trucks. Yeah, a couple of pickups over here. Different stuff. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to have trouble with this. I've set up my defenses really well here. Hmm. A little too well. I mean, when I said strong defenses, emplacements, defenses yeah, like yeah. this, towers, and, you know, barricades, anti-tank stuff. I was given a brief. Yeah, that's possibly. I think. I think we need to soften these guys up a bit because you know it's just a bit. Uh, it's a bit over over the top with with, with the defenses, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, it is a little yeah. bit over okay. the top. Okay. And what would you suggest? I suggest calling the air force because I mean I'm sure the resistance still have some air assets from oh, you know of course, from yeah. kept, uh, kept just for this occasion <laughs> yeah. where they can do a little softening up of the position when it when it matters, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I kind of see the tune of this yeah. game then. Yeah. What, John? That, for example. Okay. A few rockets from that would would come in handy. Yes. Yes. What about a couple of rockets from this thing? I mean, alternatively, you could have you could have an Abrams tank coming in and firing on the gate. You know, a big round something. Something What the hell? Nasty, big, heavy. Something like that. Like this. Like that. Yeah. Do you like this? Can I call shenanigans? Well, no. Maybe not this time, hey. Okay. Clearly, clearly, right. Let's let's. You know, the game designer is on my side here. Yeah. It's your game if you do this for balance, for the sake of balance. Okay. We'll assume that that has come in, as you see in the movie. Actually, you know, they do all this this huge wave of helicopters coming in and the firing rockets all over the place. Okay. To to create a John, where are you going to shoot? Pick a target. I think we need to get rid of one of these towers because okay. they pick one. We, we need a big hole in. I think I'm going to take this one right. Yes, in front. indeed. Okay. Yeah. And by the power of uh, balance in gaming, <laughs> <laughs> smash! <laughs> so do, the do hands the sound, of the designer the team are gone. <laughs> 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 yes, okay. we have the sound. So now the helicopter and is... the helicopter shall go away. <laughs> <laughs> and we leave. Okay. A. Big hole here. Okay. Where your Do wall any of my bit. endoskeleton survive? Well, no. I think <laughs> it's fair to say that maybe not quite. You know, they don't get completely wiped out. I think we could have a. Ah, let's do that. Hey, yeah. in the debris, there's a little crawler that survives. I think. Okay, so, so this actually is a game feature I'm going to explain to you. But yes, when sometimes yeah. endoskeletons are destroyed, they actually maybe you thought you killed them instead you just blow their legs away and <laughs> suddenly there's a thing on the ground that is still going at you. That's a crawler. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. That has even the odds. Better. Okay, so you've just <laughs> had a pre preliminary assault mm -hmm. and just blasted a hole in my lines. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, this is going to change my tactics. I assume that this is how the scenario this, starts. This, okay. this is what happens when you take perfectly planned and programmed machinery, yeah. get them to build a defense, and then you throw the chaos that is humanity at it. The <laughs> chaos that is John <laughs> and Alessio. <laughs> <laughs> or in other words, our perfectly balanced scenario starts with this kind of setup, mm -hmm. yeah. just after the strike. Yeah. So, here we go. Uh, how do we start then? Right. 
Terminator Genesis, the miniatures game. Mm -hmm. So what you do is, first of all, uh, basically we'll play through the turn, and as we come across stuff, I'll explain it. Okay. okay. So let's begin straight away, because again, it's not a complicated game. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a skirmish game, each model is individual, mm -hmm. and you begin by rolling for strategic initiative. Okay. And uh, that means that normally is a D8 against a D8, okay. but in your force, if I'm not wrong, there is John Connor himself. Yes. Oh, the primary target's on the John field. John Connor is <laughs> on go. the field. JC. Guess who's dying this game? <laughs> <laughs> JC is on the table. So uh, we actually, uh, he allows you to roll a D10 instead okay. of a D8. Because he's a uh, tactical genius. Well, all right, then. Let's see. Seven. Seven. And eight. Eight. Ah. John Connor wins the, wins the roll. So now... Uh, as your pickup truck moves in from there, the other mm -hmm. pickup truck is there, and the van, the secret van, moves in from the edge, mm -hmm. you pick up the fate dice. Yes. So by so winning the initiative, you win the, the chance to roll the fate dice. You can Which either roll it yourself mm -hmm. or give it to the opponent. So it's your choice who goes first, effectively. Okay. That dice is rolled, and it gives you a number of activations. Those activations are used to activate models in your force. So let's roll it and see what okay. you get. One. A one. Okay. Yeah. So you pick one activation marker. Okay, so I have green this side activating. Yep. No. Yeah. And you pick a model. Uh, I'm going to pick this over here. Yeah, okay. the model is a pickup track mm -hmm. there with the rocket launcher mounted on. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I now want to activate this unit and I want to do something with it. So first I want to move. Yeah. Movement is done with in the game with three templates. So there are these three templates here. The shortest one, this uh -huh. one, which is the crawl template. So would that be for my crawler? This is used for the crawlers, but for the crawlers and by wounded okay. character. Mm -hmm. This is for, speaking of infantry. That's the walk template. Mm -hmm. So this is as far a model moves. So if I can borrow one of your yeah, yeah. skeletons, he can move from there to there. That's the furthest away he can move. But of course, he can stop anywhere in between. Mm -hmm. That's a moving speed. And then finally, the biggest template. That one is the running speed. So from here, you can go to the very edge of the template or anywhere in between. So this is the Crawling, moving, or running templates, and of course, if you the faster, the more you move, the less you're going to shoot. Mm -hmm. um, and speaking of shooting, after you've done your movement, what you do is you flip the template around uh -huh. and fire. So the same template that does the movement actually do also the ranges for for shooting ah. and for close combat. So the shortest range is the close combat range. Mm -hmm. So that's basically the area where you have to fight using your close combat weapons as opposed to your ranged weapons. Yeah. Then you have the point blank range, also called in your face range. Mm -hmm. So that's the the cause of the optimum for, for ranged weapons. Then you have the short range, which is that. Anything okay. over that range is called long range. So okay. Still in range, but over on range. We normally play on a four by four, three by two smaller surfaces. Mm -hmm. Anything is in range, really, of range weaponry, unless the weapon specifically says it only fires in short range, like a, I don't know, a flamethrower. Okay. Yeah. But otherwise, any rifle weapon will fire. Mm -hmm. We fire up to the end of the table, and that's long range. Okay. okay. If you play on larger surfaces, then you can use the tape measure if you want. I mean, there are measurements in in inches as well, and they correspond mm -hmm. to well, this is a twelve, this is a six. So it's all you know, it's very very I familiar know, stuff. I, I like the idea of just having three templates to to consider my movement. Yeah. Movement and shooting. So yeah. they do a lot of work, yeah. as well as telling you. On the ranges, uh -huh. they you tell need. you what you need to hit. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this one says three plus cross combat, four plus point blank range, five plus short range. Mm -hmm. I guess you can guess what a six for a six for long six. range. So three, four, <laughs> okay. five, six. There you go. So, so you're activating one unit, John. Yes, I'm activating, activating this. Uh, just the truck, truck over here. Okay, yep. So vehicle so movement, is it different? Yeah, vehicles use actually this for the shortest move and twice this if they go at full speed. So basically okay. they double cool. the speed. So you can move that and shoot All right. normally. So I will... Vehicles are faster. Yeah. So he can run along, say, to about here. Yep. Okay. I'll just let him sit there. Okay, driving and right into the, the guns of my Terminator. So that's yes. fine with me. <laughs> and then because this is mounted on the vehicle, he's uh -huh. going to swing around. Okay. And I know I have some priority targets up here on this tar. Yeah. So I have, there's, there's a, a command. There's an extra skeletal, skeletal commander. Yeah. A flamethrower. Regular a, guy with a plasma rifle. Yeah. Regular guy with a plasma rifle. Mm hmm Now, prioritizing my targets. Uh-huh. Flamethrowers are dangerous. We all know flamethrowers are dangerous in especially every at close game. Range. Yeah. Yes. Especially at close range. So I have a feeling this missile launch is going to try and have a go at, at my flamethrower. Flame okay. Yeah. So what is the range? The range. Um, if you can give me some of the other templates there, Justin, thank you. 
Uh, let's say from base to uh, yep. it's over four. He's over four, so he's, you have, four. he's within five. So he's you need five. a five. Okay. Uh, you must uh, in their stats to show you that they have a skill of green. So okay. The so green is I a take... dice. Is a d6. Basically, all yep. dice are color coded, so it's just immediately you see the color. That's the dice you roll. Right. And there are no modifiers to hit, modifiers to anything. In fact, mm -hmm. in this game, the philosophy is, which you carry across to most uh, reverse games, you have a number. And you roll one of these polyhedral dice of a different color. Mm -hmm. So if the dice is good, you have a good chance of rolling that number. If the guys, if the dice is a d6, a d4, then you don't have a lot of chances of rolling that number. Yeah. Okay. In this case, the template tells you you need to roll a five, mm -hmm. and you're rolling a d6. Rolling a d6. All right. right. See what you get. Oof. One. <laughs> one. No. One. <laughs> one. <laughs> it whizzed off into the distance. You hit a pothole. I hit a pothole. That yes, because there's plenty on this table. So, so now that the flicks to red. Flicks the red as activated, okay. and okay. the fate dice goes to the opponent. Yeah, I, now... I actually have a spare one, so save as a passing it about. <clears throat> so let's see what I get. I get one. one. Okay. So, what should I activate? Gee, I wonder. You don't have many terribly fancy options. You could take the crawler if you want. Well, there are lots of options, actually. You could have... He, well, could, he could gun it, he could flame it. He could it. advance and punch it. I mean, uh, the Terminators are stronger. I'm actually going to activate my commander. Oh. Uh, uh. And there's a rule you told me about beforehand. Let's see if I've got this right. Yes. Uh. I'm going to play, come with me if you want to live. That's correct, yes. Uh, you got that the, this game is a quote fest. <laughs> Pretty much every rule has, has a quote from Arnie. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. So, my commander activates. What's his command? This is a command two commander, okay. which is average type of commander. Okay, mm -hmm. so I've got one token for him, which I'll place down, and then I have two more that I so can So basically, pass the out. fact that you're activating, using your activation on a commander, yep. it gives you back the number of commands equal to his level, so in this case, two. So it gives you back two activations that you can spread within models that are within command range, and command okay. range is that. So I'll activate this guy and this guy. So what you're saying is, why activate one guy when I can activate three guys? Yeah, especially whenever a pickup truck is just rolled up with a rocket launcher on the back of it. I don't like this. <laughs> I, I think I've been clever with this. We shall see. Mm. Uh, right, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll see. Uh, I'll activate my commander first. He'll just move up to the edge here, mm -hmm. so that he's got line of sight, and fire at the pickup truck. So okay. he's not firing a plasma rifle. You know the plasma gun, but the plasma rifle. So that's what, what okay. the weapon is called. These are plasma guns, that's the plasma rifle. So the smaller ah. versions, the kind of the humans carrying okay. two hands, the Terminators carrying one hand. It looks a bit <laughs> like a pistol in their okay. hand, but it's actually a rifle. So, okay, so what range am I at? We could kill you five plus. Yeah, okay. It's just outside of the four plus range. Okay. Uh, my stat? Uh, you are yellow, so okay. your skill is a yellow dice. Uh, at this range, you fire two shots. Okay. It was a repeating no, weapon, so you get two shots, and the template told us it was a five, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, four and a three, so de nada. De nada. And you can see immediately, you, you had to roll a five, you had to roll a five, because yeah. the range was the same, so uh -huh. easy. Mm -hmm. Template says five. Yeah. You, however, roll a yellow dice, you roll a green dice, so yeah. obviously you have a better chance of hitting. At but there's no, calculation, yeah. <clears throat> there's no calculation involved, it's just... I know I roll a better dice, yeah. so I have more chances of hitting you than... Yeah. The... I, I like this system. Okay, uh, if you can pass me the normal movement template. Mm -hmm. I'm going to activate this guy next, and he's just going to walk up around the corner here mm -hmm. and take a shot. So I think he's it's in short plus. range. Yep, so he's, he's point blank range, four plus. On two dice. Two dice, firing his repeating <laughs> machine gun, plasma machine gun. Uh, one Ooh. cocked dice. <laughs> so, four and a six, so that's two hits, two yeah? Hits. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh, a pickup truck, I believe the armor is five, but I will show the reference sheet. So there is this nice little reference sheet which has a summary of the rules on one side, mm -hmm. and then all the stats of the game on the other side. Mm -hmm. This will be all the models and all the weapons. Mm -hmm. So, a uh, pickup truck, if we look at a pickup, civilian say pickup, five plus. Okay. Is the armor. So, all I right. got a six on one of them. So this was the hits. Now you check the weapon and the power of the weapon you're firing. Mm -hmm. Plasma weaponry like that normally is a power yellow, D8. Okay. So you need the armor is five, you need to roll a five or more. On two dice, yeah? Yep, because you hit twice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, five and a two? Right. So the, the two mm -hmm. doesn't penetrate the armor, the five does penetrate the armor. So let me see if pickup traps have uh, two hits effectively. So the first hit... Mm -hmm. 
damages the pickup truck. We put a marker of one point of damage. Mm -hmm. The second hit doesn't. Uh, nevertheless, the model survived two hits. So in this game, whenever you're hit and you're not taken out, you're not destroyed. So if you're hit and your armor is beaten, you're destroyed, you go. Mm -hmm. you're gone. Some models may have more than one wound, or some models, you know, if you don't penetrate the armor, you still hit them. But you don't go through the armor like endoskeletons. That happens quite often because they're very hard. Mm -hmm. So you hit them; they don't. They're not destroyed. However, whenever you're hit, you have to test mm -hmm. on your resolution to see whether the effects of the hit somehow either knock you out or kind of immobilize you for a while, okay, so give you a malfunction <laughs> if you're a machine. The driver. Yes. Right. See, what, oh. see what happens to the driver. So the the pickup truck has a resolution of a, a purple dice. Okay. Okay. So you roll two. You survive two hits. So two tests for the driver to see whether he keeps control of the vehicle. I or roll not. this. Yep, you okay. roll it. Oh, yes. Well, he can roll it. Yeah. Uh, two two and, and a five. Sorry, that was his pickup truck. So he should have rolled that, but it's fine. Yep. It, <laughs> the result would probably be better. So you actually failed it twice. That's fair enough. Because the simple rule is a resolution mm -hmm. test is always passed on a six or more. Mm -hmm. Okay. And once again, the, the number is six. You don't have to worry about complicated stuff. It's six. Of course, if you're very really good, you roll a d20 or a mm -hmm. machine. If you're a human, you will be something less than that. Okay. I mean, this is fairly confident being on a big vehicle, etc. So it's actually a good resolution. But nevertheless, you manage to roll a two and a five, which is less. Both of them are less than a, than a six, I'm afraid. Okay. So you fail both tests. The first test makes you go reeling, which means it turns into two markers. Yep. Uh huh. Beat on it. Okay. The second one. <laughs> Doesn't actually give you another two, just adds one. So every further hit just adds a marker. So you have three red markers. It means that the driver is being knocked out and is lying like that on the, on, so on, on the thing. The horn blasting. Yeah. It's not dead. It will recover slowly or faster, depending. But basically, yes, yeah, so that, that vehicle is not going anywhere in a hurry. Let's put it this way. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to give him a chance because I have one more guy to activate here. Uh, he's just going to stand where he is and take a shot. Mm -hmm. He should. He could do that. Be in short range, yeah. Yes. Perfect. Two shots. Yep. So I'll get two more shots. Hit your fours. Says the template. Uh, two, two more double hits. six. Yep. The armor is uh, <coughs> is still five plus. And okay. I'm going to move these out of the way now. Yes. The I'll power... need them in a minute. I know I will. I'm fine <laughs> taking them. Uh, no. Double one. <laughs> Snake eyes. Snake eyes. Snake on eye D8. With D8. Excellent. I didn't didn't need these at all. That's well, you do because now you have no. to. Uh, it hit you twice. <laughs> yeah. It didn't destroy you because if any one of those would have penetrated the armor, it would have completely blown it away. Yeah. However, it didn't. They all hit and didn't destroy it. So you have to take two tests. Okay. Yeah, because right. you've been hit twice it's and survived. Uh... <laughs> A six, a so six. you pass the test, no problem, six and you fail it. Three. You fail it with the other one, which brings another red marker. So basically, that guy is not really well. His truck is damaged, is severely knocked out. So really, knocked him out, and I've shot out all four tires. Is is yeah. is, is, is out for the count, but he's not dead there. Mm. Okay. okay. Well, uh, that's my activation done. So it's on to you, John. Yeah. Back to the fate dice. Mm -hmm. All right. See what you're gonna get. I better get good this time. Fate. Ah, thank you for that. That uh, allows us to illustrate a point. You roll the fate. The mm -hmm. fate dice has a one, a one, a one, a two, a two, and a fate. Mm -hmm. Right. When you roll fate, it means the fate is against you. So what happens is you give the dice back to your opponent uh. and you skip an activation. Awesome. However, oh. however, <laughs> you remember like you activated, yeah. you, you said come with me if you want to leave and yeah. activate it anyway, and activated more people. Mm -hmm. You have a chance with one of your commanders that has not activated yet mm -hmm. to just instead go fate. I don't like fate. There is no fate, but what we make, uh -huh. which is <laughs> very Terminator, is all about yep. whether fate is mm -hmm. predetermined or if we can influence our fate. Mm -hmm. So if you want, one of your commanders could trump fate mm. um, and activate regardless. And how many still... commanders does John have? Oh yes, that's where the resistance is better. <laughs> you are a lot tougher, but they're actually a lot more uh, kind of uh, tactically flexible. coordinated, oh. flexible. So. He has a John Connors lieutenant over there, which mm -hmm. is a commander level so. three, I believe, two. Okay. Let me see. John Connor lieutenant is a command two mm -hmm. guy over okay. there. Then you have Kyle Rees and John Connor. Kyle Rees is a command three, okay. which is probably as high as it gets. And then the John Connor. So, you know, John, <laughs> Kyle Rees is the best of the normal humans, and then there's John Connor. John Connor, you know, savior of mankind, tactical genius, the, the man that teaches the humans how to defeat the machines, is an awesome, obscene, okay. a five 
Command 5 is the only model, but by far the best mm -hmm. commander in the game. So you have three commanders, effectively, to the one of the machines. Okay. And they're all squishy, they're all humans, you know. He may be a tactical genius, but if an endoskeleton, you know, grabs him, then <laughs> goodbye. <Okay. laughs> so. Hmm. It's, it's really making the armies feel different being able to do that. Mm. That is. and uh, the way they, they relate with cover makes it very different. Mm. I mean, I thought before that the machines never take cover saves. Okay. You must always try to stay in cover as much as possible because they're soft and squishy. <laughs> machines don't care about that. They just walk okay. around slowly, yeah. methodically. They don't duck or anything. Mm. So they're always straight, slowly yeah. moving. So they very make easy targets in terms of hitting them. They don't take cover saves. But obviously they're as hard as nails in terms of damage and, mm -hmm. and resolution. So uh, the army plays very differently because the player then doesn't mm -hmm. care about staying in cover. Yeah. Which for, you know, not forces you, but it means I don't care about cover, therefore I just walk straight where I need to go. You know. Mm -hmm. So it, it feels very different. While the humans had cover a lot because that's the way to stay alive mm -hmm. okay. when there's plasma so, balls flying John, around. Will you be flaming no fate but what we make? I think I will. Okay, on who? That's what I've been thinking. I don't know, do I want to use John Connor right now, or do I want to hold him back and well, use him as right a... Right now I'm not exactly sure where he is. A finale, or... <laughs> Which is another good thing for you. That is another good thing. I'm going to use the Lieutenant, I think. Sounds like okay, a plan. so that's... Yeah, so that's this little dude up here. This guy up here. Yeah, yeah. it's a Command 2, so mm -hmm. you get two activation markers. Okay. Uh, the drawback of using the this is that the first com the first activation marker has to go, to go on go him. On him yeah. yep. So he basically trumps fate, he goes, there is no fate! So I will put one down here. But he still has one to give to some friends. Mm -hmm. Within so his a command friend range. around within a command range. Yes, so and his command range is that, yes, this. The short so, so you could give it to the rocket launcher. I can give it to anyone there that I really want to. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, I think the rocket launcher is going to get one this time. Okay. Uh, so, mm -hmm. okay. Um, yeah, I've, <laughs> I've, I've deployed them so that they're all really bunched up against the walls. They all look pretty tactical and cool to me. Okay. Right. What do I do? <laughs> um, You're going to do something. I'm I don't know to, what yet. I'm going to do something. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> I am going to activate the lieutenant first. Okay. Um, and he is going to... We obviously need to move up and breach the gap. I do need to move up and breach the gap. You're quite right. I shouldn't listen to machines. I'm going to do something else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to run with the lieutenant. Okay. Uh, are there any disadvantages to running? You cannot shoot with your ranged weapons. You can attack with your close combat weapons after a run, but in case of the humans, it's not really important because I'll, you know. I'll assume it's just a, a rusty Bowie knife. Yeah, it's a big Bowie knife, which against Terminators is they are not very impressed normally by that. Mm. I'm moving the Lieutenant up to here. Yeah, okay. he runs and takes cover just in front of the, the machines. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, then the rocket launcher. Uh huh. Uh, he's going to walk. I think he needs to get into a position where he could kind of fire. Yeah, okay. from where he is, he doesn't really have a target, does he? No, yeah. no. Mm -hmm. Right, well, if I get him, I'll get him to the edge of this wall, I think. Yeah, hugs the wall. Yeah, so about there. That's a good position. Yeah, that's yep. all right. Okay. But watch out for the enfilading fire. Mm. <laughs> so, okay. yeah, I'm... and you can turn him to activate it. Because he, he yeah. cannot fire the rocket launcher, because the rocket launcher has a special rule that means that you have to be still to fire it. You cannot yeah. move and mm -hmm. fire with that. Okay. Is that Heavy, heavy weapon. Mm -hmm. All okay. Right. Back uh, to the machines. Machine. Two. Yep. Absolutely perfect. So you get two mm -hmm. activations. So I think what's going to happen here. I'm He's going not to. Sure. Oh no, I am. I'm, I'm considering. Mm -hmm. I have to say, look, you know, watching from here is absolutely awesome to see this <laughs> the guy peeking out of the next to the wall. With the I'm going to put one on here, okay, and I'll put the other onto my other rocket launcher. Oh, so you're waking up your wall guard, waking up the wall sentries, yeah, yeah. So this guy here is going to try and take a shoot at your commander down here. A shoot? Yes, he's just going a to shot. stand and shoot. Okay. Okay, so the range is. Short, four yeah. plus, yeah. So four plus, two D8. Yep. Yellow, mm -hmm. because machines use yellow dice, while you must tend to use green dice. Uh, four and an eight. Two hits. However, clearly the guy is in cover. Yes. It cannot be argued with. Uh, so you have two green dice, mm -hmm. and you need to roll four pluses to one for each of the hits. Okay. See so if the... Yes. You duck twice, so basically you just really run and duck under here. Uh, uh, so there's the bolt of plasma hit the barrier. <laughs> okay, well, I'll mark this one as activated. Very brave. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, 
He's yes. waving his men forward. They're kind of going, um, yes, sir, we'll... We'll oh, be with you in a moment. Yes, just, just... <laughs> if we're right, this Terminator here has his own missile launcher, yeah? He does. Mm -hmm. He's going to try and take a shot at this. <laughs> a I'm guessing launcher. that's going to be long range. Uh, it's going to be more than shot, I think. Yeah, so, yeah. Five. I mean, you're pleased to know that actually machines can move and fire with a rocket with rocket launchers. Oh. Because <laughs> they're very strong, of course. That, that's not very... mm. So you could walk and fire the rocket launcher. No, I'm going to stand and fire. Okay. Because I think I can aim. Or can a machine aim? Uh, if you have the, that rule that allows you to move and fire, on the other end, you cannot aim. Ah. Um, mm. yes. Because Plus. basically, the reasoning for that is that you're always aiming. That's ah. why your skill is so high. I yeah. see. That, that I gave him a very good stat because actually... You know, They're a human. If a, yeah. if a human has to aim, you know, to stop, try to not take it. These guys have a triangulation with machines, cameras, and, okay. and, and the thing. So they're constantly doing that, even while moving. Mm -hmm. Okay, then give me the short template. Your short template. Medium template. Okay, so I will move him then. Okay. So he's just going to trundle up the wall. Get about here. Take okay. his token with him and take his shot. I don't think it's so, going to save you on the range. Well, let's see. Might do. It might. Might do. Mm, no. Close, close, close. Oh, half an inch. <laughs> uh, still not good enough. Smallest of margins, but oh well. Right. I, I'm still looking for a 6 on a D8. You mm -hmm. are. Which is fine. Yep, better than a D6. Mm -hmm. So, let's have a look. A 5. five. The, the rocket misses the rocket <sighs> launcher man. Blast. Blast. So, your turn, John. So Roll your for, fate. So much for technology. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I've got a one again. That's maybe okay for you, because if I burn all my activations, you'll then have stuff that can just come at me at the end of the turn without that's any right. reprisal from my machines. That's, that's, right. a, yeah, that's a good point. Too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would like to get one of these people out of this truck. Yep. Okay, so put um, down a token. So the, the truck moved to normal speed, which means that they can come out. If yeah. it was moving at fast speed, then it couldn't come out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Okay. What do I have in here? Uh, Two human normal resistance fighters with uh, plasma rifles. Both with plasma rifles. Yep. Okay. Um, okay. I'll get the, the lady out first. So okay. I'm going to get her out. And she's going to really move away from this truck because it's been a bit of a target. <laughs> it, may, it may be. Yes. It's um, about to blow up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So she's going to come over here. Okay. And take that token with her, and she's going to open up on. Hmm. Commander that has already activated, flamethrower that has not yet activated. This yeah, it's true. Yeah. I, I was wondering if John would forget about that. I'm yeah. being gamey, I know. Yeah, I'm I always... know you're being gamey, but at the same time, I'm still looking at that flamethrower going, that hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> yeah, because that's an important thing. I mean, prior, priority of targeting is normally you go for the heavy weapons, the commanders. But of course, if commander has already gone this turn and does something nasty yeah. that is not gone, then your priorities may yeah. change during the turn. Right, well, she will take her two plasma shots at our okay. flamethrower then. So, so yep. 2D6. And is more than four, yep. Yep, so she's on five. Fives. Uh -huh. Yep. With two green dice. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yep. Uh, two and a three. Mm, no. If you add then them together. Add no. <laughs> I know, if I add them together, they're brilliant. <laughs> right. Unfortunate. So, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, back to my fate. Uh, two. two. That's fine. So, I will activate that flamethrower now. Uh. <laughs> and I will activate mm, this guy. Oh, the cowboy end up. Yes. He's running around with two of the human-sized plasma rifles. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, if you can give me the movement template, please. Yes. Uh, he will move just up through here. So he can fire both at the same target, or he can even pick two different targets and target <laughs> individually. Well, there's only this to shoot at, so two shots into that. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm on fives, if you give me the template. Oh, check there. Yes. Yeah. That is actually two shots per gun at that range. So oh, four so shots. So it's four shots, yep. Wow. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize he was quite so deadly. He is quite good. He is quite good. So there's another I mean, target a short for you, range. John. A short range is very good because yeah. he fires four shots. If only you go into long range, then it's not that, but that good. But within this range, he is very nasty. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, six. One hit. And again, the other gun. And a four, so just the one hit. Just the one hit. Four shots, one hit. Not Lucky. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now power eight against the uh, armor of five. Uh -huh. On a D8, yeah? Yes. 
Yeah, the plasma weapon or D8 power. A two. Still, don't penetrate the armor, and let's see whether your test on a uh, purple dice. Yes, okay. You always need a six on resolution tests. No. Failed again. <laughs> and I have five. Put another red marker on this track. Oh. Yes. So basically, it's riddled with bullets, the guy is wounded and knocked out, etc. He's not going suffering. anywhere for, for, for the rest of the game, but he's not dead yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I need to flip my token here mm -hmm. to show that he's acted. Yep. The flamethrower is then going to take a shot at her. Yep. And I already know it's going to be a 5+. plus. Uh, actually, flamethrower is going to hit automatically. Oh. Within short range. Because you're kind of hosing the entire area there. And she's okay. hit. So just mm. on her, she's hit. So and any model within this range is also hit. But she's carefully, she's carefully on her own. So she's hit. And the power is a D6. So mm -hmm. it's, it's D6. Green. Okay. Yeah. So it's good at hitting. And it can hit several models if they bunch up. But it's not quite as, as powerful yeah. as a... As a Six. It's six. Enough. <laughs> Boom. She's burnt to a crisp and she removed. Goodbye. Hey I would maybe just keep your guys hiding in that truck. <laughs> I think she I think she died for the greater good here. She distracted this one. Yes. As as she tried to run the, the horror, the horror. Yeah. The machines using flame weaponry on humans. Oh my god. Well you, you always have that one inexperienced fighter who's gonna panic and try and run. And die. Yes. Who and this running? <laughs> flamethrower firing from the tower defending the gate is very, is very science fiction, post-apocalyptic, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know what they speak of. <laughs> oh, right, of course. Back, back to fate, yes. Fate for you. Fate yep. for you. Okay. Fate. Two. You're gonna live okay. forever. No, <laughs> I would fate. really suggest bringing up some of your other gear. Mm. Well, you could jump the hell out of that thing before, <laughs> before yeah, it blows up. Like, you know, point and run two. Yes. You can do both. You have two activations. So. Yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I think I might activate John Connor. Yes, okay. that will give you quite a lot of uh, activations. Yeah, yes. you're gonna go right. come with me if you want to live? Well, yeah, we're, go we're, gonna, we're gonna get John Connor involved. Well, so you have two activations, pick two models yep. and activate normally. Then we'll okay, see so if one of those is John Connor, then we'll do the. Jo John thing. Connor will get one and this guy yep. will get one. Guy in the track and John Connor. Yep. Where's John, John Connor? Connor? Where is he? Where is, Where is John Connor? Where is he? Where is he? Is in the van. Is in the van. <laughs> okay. Uh, update from Skynet. Primary target has been sighted. Moving to engage. <laughs> You're not moving very far, mate. There's there's craters in here, and there's a truck on fire. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, John Connor, is he going to pass some activations on, for example, the um, vehicle? Yeah, I think he's just going to make everyone in the vehicle and, and, and the vehicle. vehicle. Yep. Do okay. whatever. He has five. Five. So, Five, so, so one on the vehicle, that leaves one. four. Mm -hmm. well, How many guys are with him in the vehicle? He has a few. Okay. In fact, he, ha he has enough in there. So the vehicle is going to move. Okay. Um, so one activation on John, did you yes. put. Then one he uses his five activations, one on, one the, vehicle, on the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And four uh, on other guys in the... Four on the yep. guys in the Allocate van. Allocate them to the guys in the van, so okay. I can see it. Unlike your machine I, opponent. I will, uh, uh, that one, yes. I that can one, see. that one, yes, yes. Not that one. Not that one, yeah, yeah. Very wide, yeah. And the other two at the back, yes. The two at the back. Yeah, like I said, okay. yeah, yeah. So basically, he's sitting in the van, and in the grand old military fashion, going, I need some volunteers. You, 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 and you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. He's going in and go, all right, okay, now, you know, now run me through the, through there, run, and you're ready to get, get out. You, right. you, weapons load. The van is going to move at its normal speed. Yes, because otherwise nobody because can get nobody out. Because nobody can get out there. <laughs> And if we're vehicle, is still fairly big, also because you get to gain your entire footprint. Yes. Also, yep. So the van charges forward. Yeah. It has then activated and has done its job. Uh -huh. yep. Connor himself shall get out then, hmm? along with the other people that have activated. But yep. So Connor, one at a time. Connor will get out first. And they can move that, that from the vehicle yep. anywhere on Absolutely. the vehicle. They can say? even run, yeah. Yeah, yep. it's fine. So let's say from the front of the vehicle. Ooh. Connor. John Connor is being very brave. He is. Connor is coming out here. Uh huh. There's a crawler, the... and he's going to shoot at the crawler. <laughs> All right. Plasma, <laughs> plasma so on you're, the crawler. You're shooting my, my harmless, friendly little crawler. That yes. is about as harmless <laughs> as a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So he's in short range. Okay. So he's yeah. a good shot. He's not just a he's D6 a... like other humans. Heroes tend to have a little better shooting. Right. So he's using a plasma rifle. Plasma rifle. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he takes two shots at the crawler. Yep. Getting on fours. Two hits. Two hits. Now, Six you know seven. when I said machines don't take cover? Yeah. Well, crawlers do. 
Not because oh. they are not because they are trying to get cover. It's because they because are like they are flat on the ground, on the <laughs> so they cannot <laughs> not take cover. Okay. And he's standing in a what we call an area of dense terrain, so he is in cover by being by the fact of being in there. Mm -hmm. So you take two cover saves. Okay. D so six, yeah. He's not trying to take cover, but <laughs> he's still taking cover. Okay. Uh, double one, snake Which eyes. Clearly means he's very bad at taking cover. So yeah. nope, so not cover whatsoever. It's basically mm -hmm. holding itself up, seeing John Connor going, "Aha! I'm, going, uh -oh, I'm coming for you!" <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> right, he's still armor eight. Mm -hmm. so, so and your plasma rifle is power D eight. So power good D8. luck in so rolling eight. Two of these again. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Nope. So hit him twice, which means that you have to take two resolution tests. Uh -huh. he, he doesn't penetrate your armor. So uh, I think that's D eight. Yeah. D ten. D twenties. D20? Your machine. Okay, yes. another D20, please, John. Why am I rolling a D20? No, give me a D20. Oh, okay. He's taking a, a resolution test. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you've been, you hit him, oh, you yeah, just did yeah, destroy yeah. it. Guarantee I roll crap right now. Let's see. 13 and a 5. 13 and a 5. So 13 is a pass, of course, it's more than 6. Mm -hmm. However, the five is, a 5 is a fail, which means that you can take two red markers. Mm -hmm. There's one already. Two red markers. So one, one more, yep. please. So that endoskeleton has been hit, and that crawl has been hit, and is on the ground kind of going zzz, 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 zzz. Has no idea what's going Not on. Not work. Okay, so if you mark him as activated. Yes. Shall. Next guy out of the van uh -huh. uh, is going to be, I believe, this. If I may suggest. If you remember when I taught you that rule about finishing guys on the ground, this is probably within ah. range of. <laughs> So you could have that thing. <laughs> that oh, funny thing. Sorry about that. Uh, no, no, but we're no, teaching no. the rules here, you know. No, no, no trust me. Nothing here, is machines. I get to play a hell of a lot more than John, so... <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, this guy's going to activate then in the back of the truck. And... He just allows us to illustrate a funny rule. He's just going to go straight for this guy. Yep. Okay. So moving? Yes, he's moving from the back of the truck. Yeah. Off. Well, does it have to be from the back of the truck? Any point in the truck, yes. Well, so I, I would have said it's because fine. he's physically there. Yeah, you don't think a trap you can okay. do that, it's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm just going to say you're in melee range, yeah? <laughs> yes, you are. I oh, am. You are. You are. He is. He well is. Well in. Well in. So by moving into melee range of, a, of an enemy that is in a reeling situation, mm -hmm. like, so basically is not very well, like that truck, for example. Yeah, so yeah. when an enemy cannot defend themselves, they're kind of either knocked out or malfunctioning like this mm -hmm. crawler, you can basically put them out of their misery. So you okay. walk within range or run within range and then either your knife or your gun or your hands if you're a terminator whatever it doesn't matter mm. you just reach down and do nasty things to them while they cannot defend themselves mm -hmm. okay so, so th this is the scene where the terminator's on the ground they've opened the side port of the head ripped out the the chip and just snapped it that or fire in his face like they do in terminator 2 there's a scene during the battle when you know there's a you can see an endoskeleton on the ground damaged and this ju guy jumps over it fires the plasma rifle point blank in the nose <laughs> stuff like that and pleasant yeah. stuff like that this, yeah. this is quite cinematic so far john isn't it, it is yeah I'm now this, this is terminator yeah uh, this is a coup de gras you're putting somebody out of their misery you're yep. killing them off so what do you think i told you this is a quote fest of course mm. so what do you think this rule is called i am hoping it's hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> it is indeed. Yes. <laughs> it is indeed. Yes. So you go on the ground and you go, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Bang. Okay, cool. Right. So you walk there, so you can actually use your gun. Mm -hmm. so, um, I will use said gun. So am I, I'm on green again? Yes, two shots. Two on shots green. green dice. Mm -hmm. On the hasta la vista, baby, you're you hit on twos because yeah. the target's okay. not moving. Okay, right. I one hit. managed to miss one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one hit. Trip. Now, regardless of the weapon you're using, it could be your knife, it could be your boot, it could be your, your plasma rifle. It's basically, you, as you said, you're kind of maybe just opening the port, removing the chip. Yeah. Or if you're Terminator, you're just going... <laughs> yeah. So, regardless of the weapon you're using, you always roll a d20 to damage. Ah, cool. Okay, so I'm completely defenseless. You are, but unless you're still I... armor 8. You're still armor 8. So even on a d20, unless 8 I is still this. tough. Unless I fluff this. Yeah, yeah it's, not, it's not death on 17. Okay. 17. 17 on the other end is so fairly basically, good. basically, plasma rifle to the eye socket. Doom. Yes. Yep. And the crawler gets put out of his misery. So, one dead. <laughs> First kill. And this <laughs> illustrates something that the resistance has to do. To yeah. fight the machines. You, really, if you if you hope to take them out with your plasma rifles when they are armor eight, and your plasma rifle is a D eight. Mm. The chances of actually hitting them and blowing them up on a plasma rifle 
difficult. Of course, you can shoot them with a rocket launcher, yeah. an anti-tank weapon. Of then, course. if you hit them, then there's a good chance there. Mm. But otherwise, most of your guys don't have rocket launchers. Mm. Most of your guys will just have either plasma rifles or even just assault rifles. You know, even mm. stuff that actually cannot damage a Terminator. Mm -hmm. You know, basically, armor eight. I have a, ga a gun that has a D6. Mm. Is there any point in firing it? Well, there is. Exactly what's happened here. You riddle them with fire, with anything, with knives, with, with guns, with plasma rifles. Imagine in many of these films, they get riddled with shots and just stammer back and then maybe fall over, kind of disabled for a few seconds. That's what you're doing. You're concentrating fire, working together with your teammates. Mm. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them until at some point they will fail that test and yeah. they, will, they will fall over. When they fall over in reeling, that's what you do. One guy runs, you know, shot a straw, runs over, finishes it off, and often end, ends up very close to the enemy. So, okay. mm -hmm. I have one, one quick thing. question. So, it has to be more than one of these red counters to be in the reeling state, yeah? Yes, reeling means two or more counters. Okay, so yeah. I, While, just, I wanted to check that. Yes, because one counter it just means you've activated. Okay, it, just it basically for the turn. means that currently my pickup truck is turning itself inside out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <But laughs> yes. it does mean, John, that there are reasons for you to actually go directly after. Stuff my guys that's that already activated, activated because then you can mm. make them real and it'll take two turns for them to get out of that state so you have time to get into them. Yeah, well, reeling stuff is always useful. The fact that somebody is, is like that or like that as inactivated or not makes no difference because oh. basically when you reel somebody you give them two counters. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, And if you already have one you just give them one extra counter ah, so I they see. don't build up like I that. I see, I see. So it was good to actually think that way because yeah. I have cleared that up. Yes, yeah, 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 indeed. Yep. No, I still have a load of activations to do. Yeah, come and you get do. me. Yeah, I still have another one. Yes. I've, I've got a nice little defensive line starting to form up here, so you really need to hurry yourself up. That's fine. And I'm... actually, you just found out that this is actually reeling, so any Terminator walking up to it will use the Hasta la Vista baby. He basically <laughs> takes the pickup truck and goes, uh, hop! <laughs> just pulls the engine out and just, just beats like, someone to death. <laughs> anyway. Right. Okay. Next. Onward. Onward. We have a plasma gunner coming out. Uh huh. I believe. No, grenade launcher. Grenade launcher. Ooh. So this grenade launcher is going to just come out level with John. Okay. My launchers are area weapons. So if you hit something, uh -huh. things that are nearby would blow up as well. Yeah. Oh, so there are two possible targets for John here. There hmm. are, but I'm looking at my range thinking, mm, um, which I'm not going to do. Where am I? Mm. You can okay. measure. You can measure anything at any time for yeah, this game, right. so you can so check. I'm going to check my grenade launcher on... Yep, you're in. I'm That's on in that. range. Right. And you'll probably be on this one as well. Possibly. might be the more deadly one. Could be. So, grenade launcher then yes. is going to shoot over here. Okay, okay. so you're in 5+, five plus. Five so plus. is it green dice? One green dice for one grenade. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Three. Miss. Miss. <laughs> Landed somewhere. It's a mess. It landed on the fortification. Yeah. So next guy then. Mm -hmm. um, who do we have? We have another one. <laughs> All right then. So we have another grenade launcher going to come out. Uh huh. And going to take up over here. Okay. <clears throat> and I would like this person to fire up at the tar. Okay. Unfortunately, you have friends in the line of sight. In the lane of fire. In this game, whenever there's friends in the lane of fire, that applies to both machines and humans. Obviously, in the case of machines, it would be friends, but it would be a, a danger to an asset of yeah. Skynet. So, no, not allowed. So, basically, you cannot shoot when there's a danger of having friends anyway. So, from there, you really probably don't have a target. Yeah. Well, if you're shooting this one, would it intersect? Well, uh, probably if you stay a bit back further there, you could have a clear shot, we could say. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah, you can move back a bit. Do you want me to? Yeah, yeah just swing yourself around a little so bit. We, because shown, we, are we are learning. We, we have shown that, so let's, yeah. let's rethink Pick a your target deployment. where you don't have a... You basically, you need a clear line of sight. Yeah. To, to so shoot. if we move you back... Yeah. The, the good thing is that up actually... Against the truck. It's very easy to work it out, because basically you lie down this. This happens mm -hmm. to be as wide as your base. Ah, so basically, if you go model to model, is there any other model under this template at any point? No. Okay, mm -hmm. clear. Okay. And this is as wide as the base, specifically for that reason. <laughs> All right, so well, um, I can check that now then. You can. Mm -hmm. So from there, you were trying to get to here, so edge of base to... We'll, we'll be generous and give you that. Yeah, it's fine. We'll be. Yeah, it's okay, okay. Okay. It, right. It's touching good one. Let's <laughs> let's okay. So you've got two under the template. Yep. That's another grenade launcher, yeah? Yep. And you need a six this time. I need a six this time. Mm. Okay. 
Yes. Oh, Boom. The six. Yes. We got a six. <laughs> Very cinematic. What? Ah. Guard, guard tower there. He goes <laughs> into the tower. <laughs> there was so much <laughs> happening here. This guy was running around going, I can't see anything. There's too much smoke. There. <laughs> <laughs> Boom in the tower. Very good. Okay. Of course. These are Terminators, so yeah. they may laugh it off. They may laugh. Yeah. So, so you hit uh, the, this target uh, mm -hmm. by checking the range, the shorter range, yep. any other model. So the flamethrower and these are both hit. Mm -hmm. Let's work out the damage on both individually. So this is a heavy weapon, uses yep. a purple dice. Okay. So let's go for the commandendo. All right. Okay. Armor is eight, as usual. So we'll move those. To okay, the so side. grenade launchers are actually really effective. If they Seven. hit, yes. The other one? Not enough to go through his armor. How about the flamethrower? Oh, Can you go through the armor of the flamethrower? Ten. Yes. <laughs> oh. yes. So, let's work it out properly. The flamethrower is blown to pieces. Uh, he gets to use the I'll be back rope. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, if you roll a five or six, okay. so he's destroyed, he would be dead. However, you get the last chance of rolling. No. On a five or a six, he would have just lost his legs right. and turned into a crawler. Yeah. But instead... It's kind of a special save that turns into a crawler, but he faces. So he's actually yeah. just blown to pieces and removed. Okay. So, what, so what has happened in our cinematic awesome moment? This guy couldn't find a target, got a glimpse of something, fired, badly aimed, it ricocheted off the commander's head and smacked into the side <laughs> of the flamethrower. Yeah, and but, then blew up the flamethrower's tank, destroying it. Yeah. <laughs> right, the commander has been hit, mm -hmm. so it has to take a resolution test, like okay. we said. Yeah, he survived the hit. Okay. Now, it normally would be on a D20. Okay. However, it's been hit by a heavy weapon. Ah. Basically, if you're hit by a normal fire, you just take a resolution test on your yeah. normal test. Okay. If you're hit by a big shell, something huge that actually you know, is, very, is likely okay. to damage you, even if it doesn't kill you. So, like, explosive charge anything, me. by heavy weapon, we mean anything with a value of D10 or more. Okay. Yeah. So anything that has a big power value. Mm -hmm. Then you, your, uh, your test, which was on a D20, uh -huh. is degraded. So a degraded test just means you use the next dice down. No. An upgraded test means you go for you go up. Okay, so you just so change I'm the dice. Black dice, D twelve? Yeah, so from a D from a you get demoted from a blue dice to a to a, to a black dice. Those grenade launchers need to die <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> That's why they've now separated. That's part of the plan. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see what I get here. Uh, three. three. Wow. So the commander is actually knocked out. He fails his resolution tests. Blast. So the, the, the grenade manages to destroy the flamethrower and make the commander real. So, you know, Ooh. the commander is shaken. It's so good, good, so very this, good this, result. This is the part where a Terminator or the machines player has to worry a little bit because if there's humans nearby that could shoot him <laughs> yeah. shortly with something yes. decent. Yeah, or get into melee. Yes. Yeah. Of course, when he rolled that six, because you don't need to roll a six to hit the tower, except to. You know, if you shoot the grenade in the inside the yeah. you could have decided that you didn't like that event, and you could have deployed a tiny displacement unit. Too late, we didn't do that. But yeah, let's keep this in mind for the future. You, okay. you, know, you can change history. Okay, you can well, change I, the future. I think, do I only have one of these for this game? Oh, we can say that you have two. Okay. Well, there you go. Promotion. Have another one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so mm. both of them have two. Time displacement device agents okay. waiting yeah. to okay. change history in case. Okay, uh, yeah, so. these are going to be important for me if this is how John's starting to play. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. And I still have. You're rolling well. <laughs> you have more activation. I have two more. Bloody <laughs> hell! Go, go, go! Go mm -hmm. ahead. Right, we have two plasma guys to work on yet. Okay. So let me see. What is important? Well, I have stuff over here that's reeling yeah. and stuff that's activated. I have a heavy weapon here. Yes, you do. And another heavy weapon down yes, here. Yes, you do. A rocket launcher here. And there's a rocket launcher over there. Yeah. I things to think about. And she's being killed. No, no, no. no she's no, alive. No, she's she's up to that's the, the other one's killed. That's that the one's killed. That one's dead. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't like my line of sight options over here okay. because this person's now here, kind of starting to interfere with where I can I ah. see and shoot. So I might start swinging the focus over here a little bit. Okay. Um. So yes, this lady is going to run out, uh, and also assist. Mr. Connor. Uh huh. So she's going to run out to here. Uh huh. And she's going to shoot something? I'm going to see if I can get her a little closer than Connor. Yeah. So let's say okay. about there. Okay. okay. Now, she is going to fire at this guy with her plasma okay. rifle. Plasma rifle. Yeah. plasma rifle within five, two shots, hitting on fives. Okay, I, have an, I require another green dice. There you go. There we go. See what you get. Mm hmm. One hit. Blast. Okay. <laughs> now did a D8. 
Nine, uh -huh. eight, eight. For the power of the weapon mm -hmm. against the armor of eight. <laughs> Two. Nope. Predictably, it doesn't destroy it. You take a test on normal blue dice. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Two. Two. <laughs> oh! Wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I need to get onto Skynet quality control right now. Although Something has gone badly wrong in the manufacturing plant. The, the dice rolling seems to be fairly one sided for the moment, but you know, that turns around often. So oh, yeah, do you wish to upgrade to Windows 10? Because <laughs> <laughs> it seems better than whatever Skynet's using right now. I tell you what, I really don't like that. I'm not going to let that happen. Are you not going to let this guy. You're no. not going to let this guy go? No, I, I need to keep him alive because he's very useful and he's getting into a very he's dangerous like, he's position. He's not dead, he's just reeling. I don't want him reeling this turn. Okay. So I'm going to use one of my time displacements. Okay. Right, so he's sending an agent back in time to kind of give a warning to this, this thing, saying when the shot comes across that side... No, I'm sending someone back to double check the quality control. <laughs> I'm sending someone back to double check the yes. lines. There is a fault in this, why is he reeling? Oh, let's, let's fix that bug. <laughs> so, so you send somebody back in time. Now, you also have time displacement agents there. I do. You may want to send a counter mission to try to stop this mission from succeeding. Mm. Or say, you know, it's not that important. Yeah. Let, let's, if you did send your agent, then your, your two agents will have to have fight it out over there. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, then the mission is successful and he rerolls the dice. I'm going to let him reroll. I agree. I, not, think I don't think it's hold, that important. I'm going to hold my, my time assets back. So okay. A bit more important. I, just, I think he's very important right now. Mission so is successful. Take this away from now. Yep. And I re-roll the dice, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. A 14. 14. Yeah. There we <laughs> That's go. more like it. Okay. Yeah. So this is a clear example of the future is not going the way you like it. Well, you send somebody back in the past, change yep. it so that you want to modify history. You have a chance of tackling that. Oh, you decided not to. I decided not to. I think. Save your assets for, for yeah, a rainy my, day. My assets could be used for more important things. OK. okay. Um, am I done with activations, or do I have one more? I activated everyone in the van. And the van and John, so six. That's one, six. Two, I only had. No, you had three. six. One, two, three, four. You still have one. I activated John, then used his five. Yeah. So I have. I still have one more. Yep, so I, I have my final. Yep. One more. My final plasma. Yep. Uh -huh. Because you did put Rifle. the counter down. Yep. yep. Yes. So, yep. Okay. So. Yep. You're going to come out. Uh huh. To here. And so you're going to shoot at it now. See, the thing is, I no longer have AOE weapons. Yes, a, a flamethrower now <laughs> would have been very useful, wouldn't it? Because yeah, <laughs> well, I could have we, just hit everybody. We here. decided to blow your tower up. <laughs> <laughs> Together with your flamethrower. Okay, so you're shooting at me? I'm shooting at the cowboy again. Okay. Um, because, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're not allowed this. Okay. So, two, two green dice. Four and a three. Nope. No. Miss, miss. Miss, miss. Okay. Worth a try. And that was a massive 6 7 modded activation, which is the most you can get in the game, and all because of John Connor. Yep. Normally in this game, you activate 2, 1, 2, that was possibly 3. Mm -hmm. 7 models in one go is unbelievably exceptional. That's yep. very, very rare, and only John Connor can allow you that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, so my fate? Your fate. 1. Mm. Okay. You um, are running out of activations. I yeah. am. <laughs> I am. Let's so. give it one, two, three, four, five, six endoskeletons still to go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to activate this endoskeleton up here. So if you give me the movement template just for a regular move, and he, place it here, he's going to march straight forward. Mm -hmm. He's seeing you guys coming in the door. He's going to try and shoot this guy. So okay. Friendly the way. Friendly the ah. way. Okay, then I'll shoot this girl on the end. Yep. So there's an endoskeleton in the way, so you have to pick a target from there, effectively. So he's either John Connor or the girl. I'll go for the girl. Two shots on the girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 2d8. Hitting sixes. Yep. Hitting sixes. Uh, eight and a four. One hit. Ooh, so you'd get hit. to take a save. Shooting mm -hmm. through the rain. And... Four plus. Four on plus. a green dice. On a green. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yes. Blast. Blast. Good. <sighs> Your fate. Mine. Uh, let me see. Two. Ah. No. I'm not exactly running out of options at this point. No. I still have plenty, but a lot of the, my assets now are a little further back. 
Um, yes, I think it would be a little bit of But a lot uh, of my stuff is activated, and it's your stuff that's currently on the front lines that I'm going to be aiming at, so they can move up pretty much with impunity. That is true. Yeah, it would be a phase of basically running up and catching up with your guys without yep. possibly shooting. Yeah. Because of lack of targets. And right, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to activate the other truck over here. Okay. Um, just for the time being, I need the longer movement uh, template. You have yeah. it there, it's there. Okay. This truck then is going to... <laughs> Yeah, he's going to pull up alongside the van. <laughs> Which brings him to about there. He might be a little hard to <laughs> Bumping see. and hitting Bumping things and... as they go around. Yeah. Yeah. The van's right, empty now. You're not worried about the paint job. No. It's, not, it's not empty. Oh, no, it's Kyle not. That's right. <coughs> is in there. Um, Someone right. else is in there. <laughs> Someone <laughs> else is in there that isn't that isn't that other character that uh, Alessio just said. <laughs> okay. Right, so that's activated, and you um, could fire, but I think that you have way too much, too many, yeah, there's too, too much, much friendly in stuff in the way. Yeah, yeah. There's too, too much, much friendly. Yeah. No, second counter then, because I have two to activate. Uh -huh. Oh, right, sorry. Um, you could have one of your guys in there jump out. You should have declared both at the beginning, sorry, I thought you, I you had have. one. You're, you're quite yeah. right. Um, we're it's learning, fine. it's fine. I'm going to bring uh, this plasma gunner up, I think. Yep. Okay. So he's just going to, is he going to run? He probably should. He's going to run. Yes, you're quite right. He's going to run. Ducks from cover to hopefully cover. Close enough to cover. <laughs> yeah. It's about run, there. Run, run, run. Okay. Crossing the road. <laughs> right. Uh huh. Over to you. Okay, my fate. Uh -huh. A one. A one. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to activate this Terminator back here. Gonna move one of your door guards. Yeah, because things are just getting a little bit hairy. There's a lot of resistance, yes. Mm. So he's gonna move up here. Mm -hmm. And I think I have a clear line if I can get the long measurement straight up to this guy, but it's gonna be a six. Yes. It is. Yeah. Just out of five. Yep. That's fine. Right. So two shots on D8, needing six. Uh, two and an eight. So of course, one. for you. Which is a four. Four, yeah. Mm -hmm. Four and a green. No. Nope. That's fine. Caught him in the open, so is a d8 against an armor of four. Mm -hmm. Humans are definitely squishier, and indeed, <laughs> cut down by plasma. <laughs> well, that took long enough. He did his job, he got a crawler down. Yeah. Yes, he did his Hasta La Vista. Mm -hmm. And that's often what happens to you when you do a Hasta La Vista, because normally you have to run forward to where the Terminator yeah, was. It's pretty much it. a suicide mission. Uh, yeah, often you end up, you know, standing in the middle of. Uh, <laughs> Terminators all over the place, and yeah. that normally means you die. But on the other hand, of course, you're cheaper, so it's kind of mm. worth sending a guy to finish off a Terminator, even though it's extremely risky. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit cynical, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, your fit. It is mine. So here we go. Fate, fate. fate. So oh. you already activated John. You already yep. activated the lieutenant. If only you had another commander that could if cheat only fate. I did. I do. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Kyle Reese is going to activate. There is no fate but what we make. There is there no fate but what we make. Um, so Kyle is going to do his. He's a command of three. Command three, but on, so he's, he he's, in a, he's, he's inside a vehicle, so he can only use his ability on the vehicle and the guys inside the vehicle. Mm. Because if you're inside, you cannot just reach really out to people around. Mm. Thing. So it if you just not, activate himself. Or activate. it might not hurt you actually just to let me activate this turn. Yeah, he's either get Kyle point. out. That's either get point. Kyle out or not. It's up to you. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to just let Kyle get out. Okay. Kyle's just going to get out. Bring him out into the line of fire. Um, no. Secondary actually. target. Um, no, <laughs> actually. No, no, actually. Secondary target. Uh, let me see. Acquired. Kyle is going to. Duck behind the wall. Da yeah, I think Ky if Kyle can make that, Kyle's going to. Yeah, Kyle's going to dive, get out, dive, dive the across wall. the thing. All right. Oh, I'll take care of these guys. Because uh, now he has friends nearby. Yeah, yeah. It's a good move for the future. Okay. For the next well, turn. I suppose it means next turn you can activate the guys around him. Yep. Right. Yeah. Okay. My fate. So he's redeployed his his command mm -hmm. assets. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. My fate. Uh, yeah, Two. That's, that's, uh, uh, no, I'm oh, going to do that again. Is that a cocked up? Two. two. Yeah, cocked anyway. Two. So let's take it Okay. Uh, I'll need two more of these. So. Uh, this time, I'm going to activate my other rocket launcher, who is way off the back of the board. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he has some juicy target nests over there. And I'm going to activate this guy down here. So, uh, if I can get the regular movement template. There you go. There you go. 
Uh, this guy is just going to move out and around the corner up to here. Mm -hmm. And can I see anyone there? You can shoot the very damaged truck. There. Or any of these guys. The truck. The other guys over there. Because you can have enemies in the way. You don't care about enemies in the way. Uh, you care I'll about the, the little girl, uh, the woman at the front <laughs> I'll here. shoot the little girl. That's such a cruel machine <laughs> thing to say. Yeah, she's in five plus range. Yeah. Okay. Two dice. On. You mean the tough warrior woman there, not the, the little girl. <laughs> uh, a slip of the tongue. Apologies. Well, for one in one. four warriors is actually female in the future. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Let's see what I get. Uh, eight oh, and a three. Here. One hit. Okay. Core save. Okay. So four one. up. Four up. Two. No. Uh, five. <laughs> Stop <laughs> killing people. <laughs> but, but they're so squishy. They are squishy, oh, okay. but there's a lot of them compared there's to you. Maybe, um, maybe if I take this from like a harsher viewpoint, you're just clearing a path for the other people to come through. So. <laughs> Send in the fodder. <laughs> you're opening fire lanes for me. <laughs> right. You have another activation. Uh, yes, my missile launcher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which my has missile a launcher. Bounty of. You can put the truck out of its misery. <laughs> oh, oh no, I think that truck is a good target. Repositioning. Oh, he's not, I'd rather he's not shoot doing that it. one. Okay. He's running. Right, What's he doing? Here. Okay. I would have thought of that. Yeah. No. No. No, no, no. I know, okay. I know what he's doing. Uh -huh. He's now going to shoot John Connors. Yes. Uh, nope. 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 Friend in the way. Ah. Friend in the way. <laughs> Nothing to shoot then. <laughs> so, I think. Well, you have a clear shot at those guys? Yep. Uh, yeah, you have a clear line of sight to the two. Yeah, uh, those guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll shoot them then. I'll shoot the lieutenant. Yep. He's in the face with a <laughs> rocket launcher. Yeah, if you hit him. <laughs> One day, yeah? Yep. Needing a six. Eight, Oops. Eight. Now, what you is... may want to stop your commander from exploding <laughs> if you wanted to, you know. You need a six plus. Oof. Time, you want time, to roll. Time, time yes, thing, no. you need a time thing. Oh, you think it's not important enough? Oh, you can roll a one on the wound to down for all, and one, two, three on the roll to wound. So, you know, uh, you can go, yeah, maybe I'll take the risk. Uh, what, I think, what I'm saying is, if there's a, a very unlikely roll that you actually manage to achieve, you can yeah. think, that's an unlikely roll, because obviously making your roll when you hit on a 2+, plus, you go, oh, that's not yeah. But this is very unlikely, potentially a good outcome for you. So you, can go, you may start to think an asset, uh, sorry, a time displacement device agent here could be effective. I mm -hmm. but do but, you want it to be this roll or yeah. the next roll? Or when you roll a 1 on John Connor kind of thing, <laughs> or a resolution for John Connor. Still a good point. I think John Connor is the most important thing I have. Ah, on but the it's table. not John Connor I'm shooting at, it's your I second know. lieutenant. Yep. I know. Yep. So uh, he's, Go ahead. He's saving those okay. for, for the you real for the bosses. You a cover save. I'm going to say. Yes, I know you will. Mm -hmm. So roll your cover, which will be four, four plus four on a d6. Normal. Yeah, basically as usual, no, the two. the numbers are fixed. Okay. Cover is a four up save, like mm -hmm. resolution is a six up. Okay. 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 Uh, obviously, if you're in cover behind in a super bunker of doom, you'll be rolling a very big dice. Hard cover like this, the breeze is always a green dice. But yeah. if you were in a, inside the bunker, maybe it would be a, I don't know, a d12 or something. Mm -hmm. But okay. the number is four. Like, okay. resolution is a six. Okay. As always. Right, well, uh, I'll roll here a two. <laughs> well, uh, so that was, was the roll to damage. Yes, yes. You'll be pleased to know that because it's a rocket launcher, it doesn't use the power D8. It's oh. just a plasma weapon. The rocket launcher oh, well, <laughs> uses that. <laughs> <laughs> the rocket launcher uses that. It's, it's an anti-tank asset. Apologies. So, so this it's is a bit better. There is no kill, yes. like overkill 18. and 18. <laughs> yeah, so the guy is severely wounded, clearly, by the thing. Uh, but however, I think John Connor's commanders actually are heroic enough to have a second wound. Let's check that. You tend to, yeah, they are. So you take a wound off him. Basically, okay. the thing doesn't actually go through his chest. It probably explodes nearby and injures him. <laughs> however, he still has to take a resolution test because he survived a, okay. an explosion. Yeah. He survived a hit. And his resolution is... John Connor's lieutenant is a D10. Okay. okay. However, that's a heavy weapon. <laughs> Definitely a heavy weapon. So it degrades it to a D8. So I test on a D8. A resolution test on a D8. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> right? You just demonstrated rolling a 1. Whenever you roll a 1 on a resolution test, the model is removed. Oh. oh. You know, because uh, that is either a human that decides to surrender, yeah. Yeah. more likely run away, yeah. you know, stop fighting, well, or gets just, completely knocked out. He's essentially just taken a rocket to the chest, which is slammed into his body armor, looking down at it going, this didn't explode, I'm out of here. <laughs> yes. So basically, 
severely damaged, more likely to fail a resolution test. Uh, you, even machines, if they're all a one, they still retreat because that would be either a malfunction, they yeah. sort of, you know, gets the rebooting yeah. system forever. Yeah, or <laughs> scan it goes asset in danger, return yes, for repairs. Re return for repairs, walks away. So, in any case, is out. Unless, of course, you're all the one. On a test, you may want to re-roll it again with that tiny sanction device, no. or you think, yeah, no. I agree, no. it's probably it not go. a very vital okay. objective. Let so, it go. so, so a commander out. decides to get wounded and decide, I'm out of here, I'm gonna get help. Uh, medic! <laughs> medic! Uh, somebody limps away. There's an RPG <laughs> stuck in his body armor, and he's like, yes. He's not gone off. <laughs> Shall I take it out? No, 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 no. In a TV show at some point? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's was a, it uh, Bluestone? Uh, Bluestone 14, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, your fate. <laughs> Is it my fate again? Okay. It's your fate. Okay, right. Here we go. One. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> um, Who's going to activate? I'm trying to figure out what I should be doing right now and who I should be focusing mm -hmm. on. Well, don't forget, you do still have two guys up in this. I uh, have. Two in that truck, and I have a few over there yet. Mm -hmm. um, I think you just need to book it because I only have two more activations here. Yeah, those guys don't necessarily want to get out of the vehicle this turn. No. They might, because obviously, if, if the vehicle is destroyed and you're in it, it's not nice. Yeah. So you may jump out because of that, or you can stay in and hope to come out later he, further on. So yeah, he may not have enough activations to sort this out. So yeah. I might take the opportunity to start moving. Okay. My, my other forces up. Okay. Um, so I have one. Uh huh. That's right. Who's it going to be? It's going to be this up here, which I believe is another plasma rifle. Okay. Um, he's also going to run, actually. Where okay, is he's the gonna other book template? Him. Under That's here. Under. Okay. He's going to run, but he's not going to make it to the cover that I need him to get to, which would be here. Well, you may hope to get to activate the game next to turn. This cover. He's going to run to that cover. Cover to cover. By the way, of course, when you run, you can run in a straight line like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, although, uh, if you if you run through, uh, if this if you're running, this template cannot go through any form of cover, either an obstacle or an area. Mm -hmm. Basically, you if you have to run, in, you have to go in the open. However, if you want to go around a piece of cover, of course, it makes no sense that you cannot do that. So you can break up one of these runs mm -hmm. into two smaller moves. Right. Yeah? Ah. And the distance you cover, I'll need to borrow a model, I'll borrow your guard here. Okay. And we might have to, I don't know, let's see if I can demonstrate that. So if the machine, or if the model runs from uh -huh. there to there, that's the distance it covers, yeah? Uh -huh. If it decides to break the move into two separate moves, it would run from here to here, then change direction to another direction. But let's just show you that the distance you cover mm -hmm. is exactly the same distance, so you can break it up into different things. Mm. And guess what? You Work can with... even break this into, you know, ah. one of these into two of these. So you can okay. go around stuff if you need to. Okay. okay. And back to the, your door. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> right. Okay. That is okay. my activation. Okay, so it's yeah. my fit. So the guy darts my into fit a, dice. The guy darts into into cover. Okay. See what I get? Uh, two. Two. And you reactivate my guy. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> no, Good we're rolling. not going to do that. <laughs> Good uh, so I'm going to activate my last two guys. Yeah. So I think that means the rest of this turn is going to be you, John. Yep. So I've got one here and one up here. Let's just put it down as green. So one here in the guard tower, mm -hmm. one here by the door. So the first one by the guard tower is actually going to go for a big run. So if you get into the long template. Yep. Because he's really out of the action right now. So he... It's just going to run right up to here. If you take away this much distance, this is a completely made up rule just mm -hmm. to take into account the fact that you okay. are um, uh, coming down the thing. Yep, coming okay. down the ladder. Mm -hmm. Fair That's enough. Fine. Yep. And uh, the other guy, yeah, he's just going to book it up as well, just to give some support. Mm -hmm. So I think oh, that's it. So it's all your activations left, John. So how okay. does this work? So when time? basically you have no more anything left to activate, what you can do is just as a reminder for you to remember which models you activate or not, you can take a, a green activation marker and mark all the all the things that you have left to activate. Mm -hmm. Now, so you could activate, put two there, one there, one there, one there. Okay. So these are the things I need to activate now in my final two phase. Two there, and then there's another four. There you go. Have some of Which these. I'll take those. Thank you. Okay. Now, I assume we are playing a larger game here. This is a big game. This is a yeah. really big game. I mean, I haven't come to the points, to be honest, uh, but, you know, we went for you know, roughly the same. We didn't do a proper balanced points values game. Mm. But, yeah, this, I have to guess, we have John Connor, Kyle Reese, another commander, 
two vehicles is in the thousands. So, <laughs> so you know, it's a big game. Uh, uh, what, normally, what advice for normally we we think five hundred points. Okay. Which is the contents of the starter set? Mm. Yeah. We basically, at the back of the rule book, there's, there are two armistices: mm -hmm. one for machines, one for uh, one for resistance, made of five hundred points with the contents of the of the starter set. Okay. Mm -hmm. And five hundred points on a four by on a four by four, or even on a three by two, which is the mat that you get in a starter set, mm -hmm. makes for a game that will last an hour, okay. maybe. Maybe it depends. You know, it depends on what scenario you roll. Because in the book again, there are thirty-six different scenarios. There's oh, right. Six deployments and mm -hmm. six missions. Okay. Therefore, every time you roll separately, and you get a matrix of six different games. Aye. So some games are a bit faster. Maybe half an hour. You know, just have okay. to terminate a model, the termination okay. mission. Some other maybe you have to take objectives on the map so they will last longer. So I'll say half an hour to mm. an hour and a half or five hundred points, and. That's the game, the kind of game we tend to use normally. This is just a showpiece, obviously, with majestic yeah. Yeah, thing, battle, all sorts of stuff. Can we make this? And we, we also have some, yeah, some other st surprises and stuff for this. And if you're so, you know, there's, there's reinforcement coming and stuff. So, so this is a big, yeah. big well, fun. Yeah. This will, will take this. you all afternoon. If you think yeah. like, well, stuff. I mean, like, I will say this. For this size of game, the game system actually holds up really well. It yes. doesn't feel slowed down or anything. No. So, John, do you want to activate the rest of your guys? Yes, I'm going to go ahead and quickly start running everything I can. So okay. <laughs> I'm going so. to get the two guys out of the truck now. What I'm going to try and do now is because this is going to be the end of turn, I, mm -hmm. so everything's going to reset essentially. Yes. Uh -huh. What I can try and do now is form a fire line okay. with what I have left. Okay. Preparing Hopefully. ahead for the next yeah, turn. Okay. Yeah. With Kyle Reese nearby, that should be even better. Aye. Yeah. <laughs> the commanders there that even if things went wrong and you didn't get your all the fate, mm -hmm. if your commanders are in the right places, then you can go right. Okay. Even if I roll the fate, I can still cope. Yeah, which is why commanders are a very good primary target. There's always commanders and special heavy weapons. They are the the things you really need want to take out as fast as possible. All right. Well, here I tell you what, John. We'll have you finish up your movement. Okay. Uh, are you going to do any shooting? No. No shooting. No. Okay. We'll move away here. We'll let John do all of his movement, and we'll come back and talk about how we thought the turn went. So my first turn, uh, the resistance did suffer a little bit of casualties. But I think I'm getting my forces up there pretty quick. Uh, John Connor certainly helped with that, uh, as well as Kyle. Um, so I think everything's in a good position now uh, for me to get a couple of fire lines set up and start to really put the hate, uh, <laughs> rain the hate and discontent down on the machines like they deserve. Okay, this has been an interesting first turn. I'm enjoying playing the machines. They are tough as nails, but that big blast at the start of the game has opened up my base and I need to start plugging that gap. Uh, hopefully this turn I can get some more of my heavy weapons into position to really stem the tide of the resistance, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. So this turn, definitely, I think the resistance have done better. I mean, with a little help from air power, I suppose. Uh, John Connor is doing his thing. You know, he's awesome. He's just moving everybody, making them recover from, from being shot at. It is great. He's just a, the leader of mankind, as is right. I think with that big blast, we might have overcompensated a bit. But luckily, the machines have something up their sleeve. OK, time for turn two. Uh, well, we've had a chat with you about how we think the game went. Uh, as you can see on the table, we've actually done our housekeeping between the turns, so all of our counters are off except for this one. Now, I had stuck, what was it, five counters onto that. Yeah. Yep. What happened? <laughs> what happened is... You, I, every... I, I hit the hell out of it, come on! <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, what happened is, like we were saying about John Connor, every model on the table mm -hmm. normally recovers one red yep. marker. So basically, if you just activate it, you're fine and ready to activate it in the next turn. Okay. If you're reeling, so you have two markers, then you would get a bit better. So you're not reading anymore, but you still have one red marker, which means you miss a turn. Okay. So, you know, reading more markers will stand up and be fine the next turn, but miss a turn. Mm -hmm. If you're over really, like your track, you had five markers, you lost just the one, so you still had four markers. So for another three, four turns, you should have done nothing. Yeah, that was my plan. That was my plan. That was my cunning plan. However, the third rule of commanders, as well as the, the reason of fate, and they come with me if you want to live, uh -huh. There is this other rule called, on your feet, soldier, which okay. is what Sarah says to Reese, of course. Yeah. And John Connor is within command range of the truck. Okay. And that means that uh, in the end phase, when you are removing the counters, if you are within range of a commander, the commander can remove the amount of, uh, a, a number of uh, markers equal to their command level from command you. Command five. He's command five. Therefore, <laughs> basically, imagine John Connor 
seeing the truck not moving and the guy lying ooh, like that, he runs to it, bolts the thing, shakes him, but he goes, wake up, I need you active, come on, soldier! And he goes, oh, John Connor, oh my god, yes, yes! So basically, <laughs> okay. it brings him back into the fight. Okay, well, well hang on. My commander here was reeling, but he was the last one. Yes, because commanders cannot do that with their own, with themselves, because clearly they cannot just slap themselves right. and go, come on! <laughs> they do it on other people. <laughs> Right, so my so, commander's already acted this turn. So your commander is still buffering. He's your commander <laughs> is now he's rebooted, is now ready, but so he's active. He's not reading anymore. Mm. It's just that because he has still an activation, it means that this turn is not going to activate. Okay. This kind of yeah. sucks for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Look, and you mm. may have something up your sleeve right. well, that uh, has not been revealed yet. Mm. Initiative then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, initiative. I'm on, ah, but you're on your D10. That's I'm right. Are you still on a D10 because? Johar is still alive. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, six for me. Six. six. And eight. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> of course. Awesome. <laughs> but it's John Connor. Anyway. So then I roll the fate dice. That's right. Okay. okay. You begin. Well, you, you can give it to the one. opponent, but... Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, ta I'm taking this initiative with me. Okay. And let me see. I have commanders in good positions. Mm -hmm. do, I, do I pop them soon or do I do something else? This truck is is active again. It yeah. is. Uh, this truck is going to use its activation. Yes. Okay, so in spite of my best efforts, it's activating. It's activating. You is should it? know that because it's damaged, its speed is now reduced to that. So the truck is going to be... It's, uh, <laughs> it's still shoot normally. Yeah, well, it shoots, but has a skill reduced by, by one. So it, you know, it, it's not in great conditions, it's, it's damaged. It's but going to reverse. Reverse a bit. <laughs> a little bit. Just there. Okay. That's enough for me. And it can fire. And then it's going to fire this guy. So Wonderful. We'll flip the thing over. Okay. We have, yep. a, sh we have a missile launcher at okay. point blank. Yeah. Um, point four plus. Blank. You'll four be pleased plus. to know that uh, your skill has gone down from a D6 to a D4. Awesome. <laughs> because you're damaged. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Okay, go for it. Three, three almost. Three. Ah. <laughs> mm. See, rolling a four sounds easy as long as you don't roll that dice. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> Missed. Okay, so all right then. I was actually thinking I need to worry about the truck this turn. That I need to bring it back to where it was, but because I've damaged it, I think I can just ignore it for the rest of the game now. It is not a big asset at this stage. Yes. Mm. Okay, mm. so my fate. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a one. One. Also. Okay. One. okay. Hmm. Remember, Definitely. as well as your normal models, uh -huh. you can also. Trigger, program, infiltration, if you want, and activate. Wait, you give me an infiltrator? Well, let's say that maybe one of those resistance guys is potentially not necessarily okay, on let's their that. side. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's see how this works. <laughs> right. You were on my side! <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, as demonstrated by uh, this T-800 infiltrator here, that's a yeah. big asset in, in, uh, <laughs> in uh, Skynet's arsenal. So we have agreed that one of those... Um, there is insiders in this group here. So along this group? Okay. Yeah, obviously not Kyrie's, and I would say not the rocket launcher guy, but okay. any of these other guys here, which... Uh, this guy looks like the old one out. Look at the base. Yeah, well... Slightly different color. Yeah. I think it's him, isn't it? It oh, looks then. like... Because his face looks a bit funny to you. Yeah. The eyes a bit red. Yeah, so basically this model goes... This soldier goes... I've never seen you around here. I'm from a different cell. I'm from a different... A different, a different, different cell. Well, what's, cell. What's the password for today? <laughs> Aubergine. <laughs> Dog meat. <laughs> so this fella here, clearly telling apart because of a different base, mm -hmm. is actually a T-800. It was there with a mission, possibly to do with that fella over there. Yeah, mm. with <laughs> So you could activate him if you want okay. to. I'll activate him. So did the, did the other guy, instead of asking oh. where you came from, did he turn around and say a funny joke and the Terminator just didn't smile? <laughs> so you didn't yes. laugh at my jokes, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I will shoot you. You're here, machine. he's not even going to bother moving, he's just going to... Actually, he will move to here, and he will shoot Cal Reese. <laughs> does, does melee range count for him at this point? Uh, yes, it does. So if he's within... Many range of other guys, he cannot actually use his range weapon. So he could just walk to Kyrie's and rip okay. his head off. Oh, I mean, that's always, that's often a, I have an important uh, communication, Mr. Reese. What is it? Die. Die. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Reese. Kyle Reese. From command. What is it? You're dying. Today. You, you are terminated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. so I'll attack Kyle Reese. Or more likely, he's going to go there and go, Kyle Reese. 
Um, Are you it depends who asks. <laughs> okay, depends so who asks. <laughs> I assume one d8 on a three up. Right. So your uh, your ability is the same terminator. Is a d8. Yeah. Three up is the close combat. Mm -hmm. So three up. Mm. A one. <laughs> Of course. I'll eat. Okay. I have <laughs> gone to give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> and Kyle actually dives behind the wall, like, ah, not one of those again. <laughs> Had it before. <laughs> yes. Okay, so he manages to miss. Oh, uh, Kyle dodges and is like, oh my god, infiltrator, infiltrator. Your feet. So the alarm goes off. The mm. shouts, infiltrator. See, what does that teach you? I need to hurt things. <laughs> yes, that's kind of a, what that teaches you is you didn't bring any dogs. No, that's the there thing. There are no dogs here. Yeah. If models have dogs, the infiltrators cannot get within this range, the short range, mm -hmm. without being detected because dogs will just go, perf, right. infiltrator, <laughs> perf. I, I, do I assume that John controls the infiltrator yes. until I reveal it? Yeah, yeah, that's that's a machine model. Yep, yeah, yeah. it's okay. the same stat as one of these, except that the gun is not a plasma weapon; it's mm -hmm. just a. It's just an assault rifle, isn't it? So, yeah. yeah. But other than the gun being different, it is one of those now, yes. Yeah, yes but yes. I, I'm assuming until he's revealed, John fully controls that miniature? That's something we've done special for this area because it was funnier. Okay. If we were playing yeah. a normal <laughs> game, if traitors are normally, are normally just one of your miniatures, but okay. he cannot target them ah, until either they attack, as okay. you've revealed themselves, or a dog gets within that range, okay. or a model goes very close, like cross combat range, and challenges them. Basically, right. normally giving up his life by going, what's today's password? <laughs> and the middle goes, uh, today's password is, uh, rip your head off. <laughs> kind of I, I didn't know, I didn't know uh, Terminator spoke sign language. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's password. Right. <laughs> okay. My fate, I said. Your fate. Okay. Two. Two. And so you could them. actually activate John Connor and Cal Reese. Could they both use their come with me yes, if you want yes, to live? Yes, you could. You have a me that, I mean, that would be like activating almost, almost your entire force in one pip, which means that for the rest of the activation, you're kind of, you know, so maybe not the wisest <laughs> thing to do. Also, <laughs> it would look epic, though. <laughs> it would. It would. A big wave. However, again, part of the game, a lot of the tactics in it is whether to do use that activation on the mm -hmm. commander and use the come with me if you want to live rule, mm -hmm. big blip of activation. However, if the next turn or two turns later, when you have something really urgent to do, you roll a fate, uh, and your commander is already activated, then mm -hmm. you cannot use the there is no fate rule because okay. you're already gone. So yeah. use it soon, early in the turn, mm. to get more guys, or wait until maybe you get a, you get a fate and then go overrule the fate. When to use it? It varies with situation, it varies with yeah. armies, of course, and you have plenty of command. Well, actually, one commander has died, isn't it? So you only have two left. Mm. Um, I'm going to activate Kyle. Okay. And he's going to do uh, his. Come with me if you want to live. Come with me if you want to live. All right, you got two. So who else? Um, you have to select that yeah, before. So within use your plans. two things first. No, no, no. This is the normal. So you have two activations. Right? You roll yep. the two. So activate the two normal guys first. Okay. One, one Kyle and one other guy. One Kyle and one other guy. So I will activate. So Kyle gets one. Uh huh. And the rocket if launcher. If you actually go for one of these guys outside of his range. He's better. Yeah, far away. Because yeah. then Cause you, you can wasting. use all of his on guys in his range. That's True. right. Yeah, True. so I'll activate this guy very, over here. Very clever, yes, yes. Yep. That's then, then you use the rule, <clears throat> come with me if you want to live. Okay. So it gives so you give three me. because it's a command three. Yep. And you can spread it. And then you've got one, two, three. I think in this particular case, he is not shouting, come with me if you want to live, he is more shouting, it's come with me so I can continue to live. <laughs> infiltrator! You know, like in yeah. Terminator 1, when the infiltrator gets into the base and, and if I shouts. if I make a quick reminder that the um, come with me if you want to live only works within his command range. That's right. Yeah, right that's correct. So it's yes. the, uh, the missile launcher and then those guys. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and it's actually interesting to notice that the infiltrator going there attacking Kyle as well as achieving the attacking Kyle and unfortunately missing, mm -hmm. He actually is within close combat range of the rocket launcher, yeah. which means the rocket launcher cannot is use range, range weapons. As well as yeah. yeah, well, you can move out and shoot. I mean, that's the classic thing that the resistance fighters do when they're in close combat range with an infiltrator, with, with a terminator. You normally just step away and shoot them, and shoot <laughs> and them I, rather than stay there and, and fight them with a knife. You can shoot into close combat range without any penalties? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, okay. yes. As long as there's no friends in the way. You remember okay. that you, yeah. you, know, you need a straight shot. Okay. Okay. So, Kyle is going to tactically backpedal. He's advancing the long way around. He's advancing in a different direction. Yeah. So he's going to back himself he out goes, of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> he's going to go a bit further than that. Uh, he's then going to shoot at this guy. Okay. Yep. Uh, so he's a point blank. 
Yeah, uh -huh. and he's a D8 as well. Yep. Okay. Right, Joe Connor. Point blank. Uh, he's a single shot weapon. Two shots. Two shots. Plasma weapon. rifles. So, sure. Thank you. It's gonna assault rifle, right? Okay. With plasma. A six and a seven. Two hits. Okay. okay. He's armor eight. And I need to roll. Plasma is D8 again. again. Yep. So with both of them, an eight and a three. <laughs> Okay, well, ah. that even doesn't last very long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, raise the wolf. Just <laughs> <laughs> so, man, is it maybe standard operating procedure for the resistance that if anyone walks up to you and goes, "I'm sorry, is your name?" <laughs> yeah, shoot him. Shoot him. <laughs> shoot it immediately. Don't finish the sentence. <laughs> is your name? Ah! <laughs> I was just curious. Um, right. So. This doesn't pass his armor, so yeah, uh -huh. he would have to take a test. This one actually was an 8 on armor 8, so uh -huh. that's perhaps where you may want to use your assets. Perhaps to want to, you know, make him reroll that, because that's an 8 on a d8. You, you know need an 8. This, this thing is really tough, so I'm going to play my d20. Oh, you normally don't reveal it. You just say, I'm oh. using a TDD. Okay. You don't tell him uh -huh. what TDD you're using. I see. And therefore, because he may have different quality as well. I mean, ah, machines I tend to be better than humans because obviously, you know, humans are humans, or better humans like heroes, mm -hmm. but they never get quite like the T1000, which yeah. you are just about to, to employ yeah. there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, are you, no, not, you don't know there's a T1000 involved. I are you using any? any um, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm confident in the other shooting that I have. Okay. Okay, so T1000 succeeds, okay. you can you force him to reroll that dice. Because you can always use it to any is right it dice. Both dice or just one die? Just the one to roll the eight. It's one dice per permission. Okay. That's I got six. six. So basically the infantry was warned <laughs> in time not to do that. Yep. And so you see twice, mm -hmm. obviously not killed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to take two resolution tests okay. on the D20s. Okay. I guarantee you I fluff this roll. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Four and eleven. Well, you did. Uh, one, you passed, no problem. And the other one, you fluffed. So the infiltrator is reeling. Which probably means that the other friends that have just activated... Hasta la vista. <laughs> and hasta la vista him <laughs> yes. all day. Yes. <laughs> so still, still, Reese kind of got ah. away with it. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, right. It's, it's showing that the heroes are heroes. <laughs> yep. Yes. In this case, your dice rolling is your dice rolling. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, John. Right, next activation then, we're going to have this guy mm -hmm. activate and move up. And he I should think be... he's already in close combat. He... Yeah, yeah, so you can just fire his gun, two yep. shots. He'll just turn around. Two shots, two green dice, needing four. Twos, actually. Two, Hasta la vista, yeah. Hasta la vista, baby. Two and a five, two, two hits. hits. And then this for damage. Okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Well, so yes. one doesn't actually penetrate your armor, but yep. that one does. Yep. And there is not turning into a crawler from a Hasta la Vista baby, because it would be difficult to shoot your, you know, leave your legs yeah. out and stuff. So <laughs> the infiltrator has pretty much not achieved much. I don't know, scare off the sky <laughs> like, ah! it, it made calories back off a little it bit and did. shoot him. Yeah, and but, activated a few guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you still have three activations here, which can I come do. across and start hurting my stuff on the wall. That's Indeed. Right. Yeah, yes, yeah. and that is what's going to happen now, because I'm going to activate the rocket launcher. Which is now freed up to shoot. Which is now freed up to shoot. And exactly. doesn't have to move. Because I had initially thought, how funny would it be for the rocket launcher to turn around and has to live east of the hindrance infiltrator? And then I thought, no. no. <laughs> More important things for you to do, my friend. Yes. Okay. Uh, that is what shooting? you're going to do. He is going to shoot. Because I have a rocket launcher and a standard plasma gun here. Actually, I am more scared of the plasma gun. Really? Yeah. The two shots? Yeah, I suppose. Fair enough. I'm more scared of that. I know the rocket launcher is probably going to kill if it hits. Yeah, yeah. but you know shot. you're squishy anyway. Yeah, yeah. And of course, saves four plus. So I think you're, yeah, yeah. 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 If you're, if you're not a, if you're not a vehicle, you're probably right. Yeah. Yeah. A right. Cheap, cheap guy that can take cover. Don't yeah. need to worry too much. So. Yeah. Good so thinking. Five plus. Good thinking. You are actually out of five. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Okay. That's good. You can take an aim shot because you're not moving. So you have a D8. single shot weapon. So a single shot weapon. If you don't move mm -hmm. and you take a careful aim, like in this case, you might as well because anyway yeah. you cannot fire and move. Yeah. Uh, but basically, you probably use the targeting device on the stinger. Mm -hmm. Take an collimation. So my Terminator standing at the wall just with a red laser dot on the <laughs> forehead. Right. So instead of using your normal dice, which would be a green dice, you yeah. can upgrade your dice to the next. Because I've aimed. Because, because you're sat there and I've taken the time aiming. with it. Yeah. We've got a good tone on the stinger. Tom. Away we can go. And we missed. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you roll. No! You have a good tone, except you're holding a stinger the other way around. <laughs> oh, oh, I've got a good tone on. <laughs> no, sorry, Reed. The number of times I've seen that happen on YouTube. I have seen guys with a stinger and fire it wrong way. 
<laughs> Inside buildings is also very funny. Huh? Physically impossible, Justin. You didn't. I, I don't know. I've seen some of them. Probably a shoulder mounted rocket something. fired the wrong way. Yeah, yes. okay. Yes. Yeah, one of the kind smaller of, some ones. Some kind of rocket thing that is also very funny when it gets fired indoors. <laughs> Just how fire is indoors. Ah! The back blast. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> right. right, next one. Okay. Next. You. You are going to walk. Okay. Because you need to be a little closer than what I want you okay. to be. Go ahead. Um, so, yes. We're just going to advance the ramp in a very medieval show of warfare. Yeah. Run to the rams. And throw I assume firing at the plasma gunner again? Yes. Firing okay. at the plasma four gunner. Probably. So 2d6 mm -hmm. yep. on four. four yep. Two hits. Two hits. Okay. Ah. D8. Okay. Two D8s. Need yep. yeah. No. Okay. But I need to but test on two D20s. That's right. All right. Uh, one and an eight. One and an eight. Did you roll a one? I rolled one. One and a twenty. Yeah, Did you? Yes. Do? <laughs> I, I, You're doing I, I, well, aren't you? <laughs> Look, a one. You rolled right, one and a twenty. Five yeah. percent chances of that happening. <laughs> right. Well, I suppose if you roll enough D20s. So, uh, your TDDs are all used then? Yeah. Mm. Uh, which means that basically yeah. that endoskeleton gets hit in the eye or something, malfunctions, and or walks back home. <laughs> Yes, keep keep rolling like that. I I am noticing that being a bit ballsy with the resistance is paying off a little. No guts, well, no but, glory. Particularly because as, as they have run out of flamethrowers, because being that bunched up and when mm. there's flamethrowers around, <laughs> it would be very very painful. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that's this is the thing. Your target priorities have worked well. Yep. Yep. Uh, my fate. Or no, no you have one I more still guy. Have one more guy to go, and uh -huh. he may go for the rocket launcher. <laughs> He's going to vault. I guess. Yep. He's going to jump over that and move up alongside his friend. Okay. It's about there. Okay, and firing at the rocket. And he's firing at the rocket launcher. So this, this may be a five. No, that's a four. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a four. What, what do you think? Uh, it, is four. Four, yeah. Yeah. it is a four. Okay. Two d6 is then. Five four and a five. one. Okay, so, so one hit. One hit. D8, need an eight. One d8. Six. Okay. Impresses. Uh, no, nine. no, he did the right thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, so, so that was the monster there. activation over, mm -hmm. which yeah. saw the infiltrator being sorted out, and my plasma gunner dying. Yep. Eek. Yes. My fate. Mm -hmm. That was a bad turn. I laugh because I guarantee I'll roll fate right now. <laughs> no, a two. Well, a two. two. Okay. Uh, See, what I'm going it? to activate. Two counters here. You have to get busy. I'll activate my missile launcher. Mm -hmm. And I'll activate my cowboy. Flip it over. Oh, yeah. Green. Keep them green. Well, my missile right. launcher is just going to fire into this guy. Mm -hmm. Really? Are you sure? That guy is already activated. Uh, it's yeah. not a threat this turn. Well, uh, in fact, if I move up the line a little, yeah. about here, because that's within, I'll shoot at this guy. Yes. So that'll be a 4 plus on 1d8. Not, not John Connor, then. Uh, two. I missed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wouldn't matter shooting at John Connor if you keep rolling like that. Keep going. Yeah, yeah so my cowboy now. Uh, if you can give me the move template. Okay. Four shots, John Connor. Come on. He's going to advance. Body. Right here. <laughs> and he's going to shoot John Connor directly. Mm -hmm. Four plasma <laughs> bolts at John Connor yep. at point uh, blank. More D8s, please. More D8s. Give him. I'll roll two, two, yep. two. two at a time. Yeah. Okay, so Pause. I believe I'm at four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, two hits. Uh huh. Uh, no hits. And no hits. <laughs> so one misses, one hits twice. Yep. There is no cover because you're inside the terrain and you're firing out of the terrain. Yep. Mm -hmm. He's not in cover. So, yeah, no cover. We'll go straight to the roll two damage. Armor four. Three and a six. So he gets wounded by the first hit. So yep. he takes a wound. You need mm -hmm. another wound marker, like this one. Mm -hmm. So Junkara is wounded by the first shot, and not by the second shot, so he has survived two hits, mm -hmm. which means he has to take two tests, and he's on a black dice. Okay, so... Two tests on the black his dice. His first test... is a pass. Nine. Nine. And his second, second test... test. He's well, a 12. Well, yeah, yeah, he's not he going anywhere. He care. It's only a flash wound. <laughs> he just... Ah! <laughs> he's suffering. Now he's just more angry at me. Yes, yes he is. Your fate. My fate is over to me. I roll a two. Okay. Now, 
what position are we in? You could move forward. You are going to move forward. So I'm going to put an activation on you. And I'm going to put an activation on you. Girl with shotgun. Yes. Okay. Uh, truck is going to move forward, I think. Um, truck only needs, because of that movement, truck only needs to move to here. Okay. So that there is nothing impeding the line of sight. Okay. Well, apart from all that over so there. So, who are you shooting? The cowboy. Okay. Okay. I think we're going to shoot the cowboy. I'm guessing you don't like the cowboy. He's in a prime position that if he gets reeled, there is plenty of opportunity to wipe him out. Okay. And that is a very dangerous weapon okay. combination in there. Okay. I think. So, rocket launcher firing at. Rocket launcher firing. Uh, we're at point blank. D6. And it's a D6, right? Mm-hmm. Way. Mm -hmm. It's a six. It's a Square six. in the face mm -hmm. with a D20. Uh-huh. Yep. 16? 16. So the, the cowboy explodes. <laughs> it may turn into a crawler on the other end. Where is the green dice? Right. Four no, it doesn't. It just explodes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so. that, that is better. That feels better. <laughs> uh, my fit? Ye nope. Oh yeah, you have another I one have a, there. I have a shotgun lady. She's got a shotgun. Um, so shotgun is a short range weapon, so that's the maximum range you can fire at. Right. Also it's a D6, unless if you're in point blank, then it becomes a D8. Right. So basically at long range, a bit of scattering yep. is, is not going to worry them too much. So you I know, assume you can still hit them. Up. She's going to get as close as she can up here. Uh -huh. Go ahead. So she's going to get to there. And fire. Shotgun in the face to and the shotgun to the rocket launcher. missile launcher. Yep. This guy point blank. Yep. Lovely. So it's a D8. One shot. One D6. shot. D6 to hit. Uh, where I need a D8, please. Oh, D6. D6, D6 to hit. D6 D8 to hit. D8 for sorry. the power. So. All right. Yeah. Oh, there's a D8 for when you need it. Point. Four plus. Two. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Missed. Mm -hmm. Missed. What a shame. Okay. My fit. Yes. Over to you. Two. Two. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Uh. Uh. You There's a lot of stuff showing up here. I'm nervous. <coughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. So I need two more tokens. I'll put one on this plasma gunner, mm -hmm. uh, one on this plasma gunner. This one's going to advance. Mm -hmm. uh, and where is it advancing to? Are you still trying to get John Connor? <laughs> yes. John Connor must die. So it's going to fire at John. Are you within? I'm not within melee. Mm, very close. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so You're not you helping. <laughs> well, you can always measure, so yeah. you can assume that. Uh, four and an eight. Oof. Two hits on John. Uh, on to the power then, the eight. The eight, yep, yeah, knock over saves. Uh, two and a one. <laughs> Oh, he's taking two more bolts and he's not going down. However, he's two more tests with your D12. Yep. There it is. Okay, so... Will he stay? Will he go down? Eight. No, eight. Continues steadfastly. Twelve. 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 John Connor <laughs> is He's better than the machines. He just doesn't care. <laughs> maybe it's because actually secretly he's a T3000. Oh, maybe at this stage he wasn't a T3000 yet. <laughs> right. Okay, this one's going to advance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And do it again. John Connor! <laughs> Today you are terminated. I hope. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> and I, only if you try to speak like that. Yeah. And the skeletons don't. It just goes me. <laughs> no, I, I'm just. This is the internal monologue of Skynet right now, right. as Arnie. <laughs> uh, one on a five, so one hit. One hit, yep. One rolls to penetrate, knockover save still. Seven. John Connor. Abandons us. Mm. Seven. He's higher than uh, his armor. You have your TDDs. Takes another wound, yes. Which, what could make you reroll that is a four plus. Well, it's four plus. Uh, you know, his armor is four. He's rolling on a D8. So. It mm -hmm. is your commander, though. And how many do you have? So let me just check what I have none. I have. So if you want to roll, it so will I can't roll against you. I am going to throw one down. Okay. Right, okay. So a chance of. Him staying alive? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Then go. A two. I was lucky. So actually, the hit doesn't kill you thanks to your TDD because clearly you went to the past and told John, 
in don't the particular duck. moment, in the particular moment duck when you right see that now. infiltrated duck, <laughs> when you see that <laughs> endoskeleton walking dirt. toward you, firing its plasma gun, hit the dirt. Yeah. These are th these must be knockoff. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has counterfeited well, endoskeleton. You hit him. You, you haven't killed him, him. so it. he still has to take a test. Yep. Ah. Seven. Seven. No, does not refused. care. Does not care. Keep I'm getting on to Skynet quality control. Do, I, do you have a customer service number for Skynet? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's more like it's more about him, really. Unlike your endoskeletons, they're all ones on D20s. He cannot roll anything less than seven or twelves on the D12. So that's the way it's done. <laughs> right. right. We're not making this up. No, we're not. <laughs> okay. Okay. So fear towards it. me. Right. I need to pull something out of the hat pretty soon. That's reroll mess. That's a one. Okay. Uh, it is when Jukon goes, uh, you know, I'll everybody! wait. Everybody! I'll wait to the back. <laughs> you guys go forward. Yeah. Um, um, so he just goes, everybody, up and up. Yeah, John Connor is going to do, do do his thing, and he's going to pass out the, the activation markers. Okay, so one onto him first. So one onto him first. And then five more. It gives you five. Yep. And then another five. So. He kind of goes, guys, I'm a pet. Spam you with. <laughs> A smoking flak jacket completely riddled with plasma. Guys, I go, today I'll, I'll take a fiver. <laughs> today, today sucks. <laughs> go and do what you do. Yes, yes. I'll do take, those things and just shout at me if you wouldn't mind. I'll take a five. I'll take a five. You guys go forward. Uh, uh. <laughs> smoking. Yeah. <laughs> plasma everywhere. Ah, ridiculous. He's just proven to everyone how tough he is. So yeah. everyone now is activating because they're so. Charged up, they all know yes. what to do. Connors, the immortal! How is he still alive? Oh. <laughs> well, one very good thing you can do, yep. I'll point out that thing mm -hmm. has very good range to this thing. As a grenade launcher, if he doesn't move because it's a single shot weapon, mm -hmm. it takes a knee, takes a good aim, and places the grenade really carefully. So I think an aim shot at that thing because it's in range with the other thing would be a very good thing to do. That's a good point, mm -hmm. and that's what we'll try. <laughs> okay. So, he will aim and take a good shot at that. Okay, so what's he shooting guy. with now? Grenade launcher. Grenade launcher. Uh, dice. Dice. Um, well, it's a normal. Uh, instead of a D6, he use upgrades to a D8 the, because he's aiming. Yep. Okay. Four plus, I would say. Right. Four. Ooh, let's check four. if you're within four. <laughs> Which you are! Oh. It's a hit! Bonk. <laughs> okay, so they're both hit at the purple dice. So, purple dice on this one. Okay. Uh -huh. Six. Nothing. And, and that one. And the other one. Eight. Yeah. So that one is destroyed. Mm -hmm. Eight. And uh, you have to see whether it turns into a crawler. A it one. does not. It's nope. blown to pieces. Can't roll worth a toffee today. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. The next one uh, survived it, so it has to take a test. However, instead of the D20, uh -huh. because it's being hit by an explosion thing, heavy weapon, it's degraded to a... Yeah. It passes it. It passed the test. Wow. So one walks away from having the explosion, kind of going... So like the the other shade friend and hit the <laughs> other. <laughs> yes, yes, You're doing do. a lot of bank shots <laughs> with these grenade launchers. <laughs> yep. Excellent, excellent clutch shot in grenade launchers here. Like, this is... This is professional work here by experienced soldiers. Okay. Uh, next. Right. Next. Next. Um, I think you're going to activate, and I think you're going to. Ooh, you're going to shimmy forward actually, a little bit. You're going to shimmy forward. Just make sure you don't get within close combat. I know. I'm, that's what I'm worried about. You have to switch to knife, get and to... that's not very good. Can you climb up on the bonnet of the truck? No, really. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, well, she moves forward to like there. All right. That's fine. That's close enough. That's all no, she needs okay. to do. She's st staggering a bit over the rubble. Um, she's going to fire at this guy. Okay. Oh, so you're firing at the other one? Yes. yes. Okay. He's still active. He's not done anything. Yeah, so he's not activated. That's a good point. He's so on five. So he's on five. Two shots. Hitting on fives. D6s. Yes. Yeah, first kill. No. Nothing at all. Two shots. Nothing. Fair enough. enough. It was worth a try. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm. Mm. Forward, forward. Let me see. I'm going to start over here with this, this person over here now. That's another plasma shot. Mm -hmm. uh, onto the rocket launcher. Okay. 2d6. Yeah. Uh, does the aim work with... Plasmas as well. If I single shot no, weapons, no. only single shot weapons. Okay. So uh, plasma plasma uh, rifles are like assault rifles. So gotcha. in the short range, in within short range, you're always better off firing bursts. Yeah. But if you're firing single shots in long range, they can only fire single shots. Then you can aim. Basically, it becomes a rifle. Okay. But in 
Yeah. In short range. Right. 2d6 then onto the semi, rocket launcher. Semi automatic. Four and two. That's a hit, isn't it? So one yeah. hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And. And a d8. And a d8. For the plasma. Two. Nope. But Test for still, days and 20. Yeah. 18. 18. Fine. 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 Not totally fine. Yeah. Um, hmm. Next one along the line. Uh -huh. It's a fiery line, isn't it? Yeah. Same again. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. The same again. Terminator became Napoleonics. <laughs> yes. <laughs> same again. A six. So yep. One hit. Uh, and, roll your d8. And roll a d8. Three. Three. No, but you have to test again. Nineteen. 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 Line. That's the way to do it. Next one along. Be like John Connor. Are you going to shoot this one then? Um. Is it closer now? Yes, I am actually. So that's again, but that's a shorter range. Just do four. Yeah. That's. Yeah, it's point blank. It's mm -hmm. fours. Bonk. One hit. One hit. One hit. Okay, hit. And hit. Five. Survives. Nine. Nine. Stays on his feet. All yeah. right. So suddenly they found their their, their courage. It John Connor still someone. has to go. He can shoot. <clears throat> John Connor has to shoot. Yeah. Or he can run away. Well, brave Sir Robin. Not run. really run. Hey. He can. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Move at that speed. <laughs> I'd be spent. Right, well, he'll fire at this guy in front of him, I think. Okay. Um, so Don't he's raise your dice by one for being wounded, yeah? That's right, so D6s. So Instead of D8, yeah. Yep. <sighs> oh, he's, he's very wounded. He is very wounded, <laughs> so he missed completely. Okay. Uh, My fit? Yes. Yes, and the resistance is almost all gone, main. really. Mm hmm. The, resi the resistance is spent. I get one action. So if I can get a couple of activation counters over here, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me a handful. Okay. So I'll activate. I'll activate this guy. So if you give me the short template to advance. Yep. Uh, to oh, to, sorry to what? Yeah. So he's going to advance to here, mm -hmm. and he'll take a shot at John Connors, <laughs> but it's at long range. <laughs> he doesn't like John it's Connors. It's really going to make him. Two shots on the eighth. Mid and fives. Mid and fives. Mm hmm. Eight. Double hit. <laughs> Double hit. This time you do get a cover save, of course. You're shooting through lots of cover. So four pluses. On a D6, yeah? Yeah. Yep. One, One gets through. Yeah, you may want to stop through. You may want to reroll that with your last DDD. Because that's a 50 50 chance that the D8 he's going to roll is probably going to be worse than him. Because it's a four plus on a D8. Yeah, all right, well, we'll pop the last one. Okay. You just keep your head down. So reroll the one D6. The cover D6. save, yeah. I rolled the cover. Plus. Four. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> so, like that. Spending all the time. I'm just like, <laughs> keep your head down. You all understand? Right. <laughs> your fate. Mm -hmm. You still have a couple of people. Do yeah. I? Yeah. There's a grenade launcher hiding here. Oh, yeah. There's the van, which frankly is not armed anymore. So, other than trying to run things, but there's a lot of friends in the way. So, right. really. so we have one grenade launcher yep. that can do something. This is a massive assault. Uh, yes. One, which is fine. Uh -huh. Well, because it's desperation, isn't it? They need to get there. So they're yeah. funneling all their forces for this guy. Well, just like in the movie. It's yeah. exactly that yeah. scene from the movie. Mm -hmm. um, advancing. Uh huh. Advancing out to here. Okay. And then firing at the command endo. Okay. That'll be a five up. Yep. yep. Two shots. Two on fives. Two oh, no, sorry, that's a grenade launcher. Yeah. One, yeah. 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 one, one shot, shot on D6. Yep. Need a five. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. He's, a, he's a sniper, this guy, with his grenade <laughs> launcher. He's an artist. Like, one grenade, <laughs> second grenade. I see. These two people probably found a massive weapons cache just filled with grenade launchers and just spent maybe six months <laughs> while they were waiting for the nuclear Perfecting fallout thing to finally go away. <laughs> Just bank shotting all <laughs> through the bunker. Right, and now you have a D10 yep. purple dice explosion against this command end. Okay. Okay. Four. Four. So he's not destroyed, but he has to downgrade his resolution test. A one. one. <laughs> I kid you not. Well, one. well, you know, it's not like rolling a one on a D20, rolling a one on a D12. You know, it's <laughs> still one and <on> twelve. <laughs> <laughs> so the commander kind of says, you know what, I think I'll be go that way yeah. and I'll be back with reinforcements and uh, yes, yes, you just wait. <clears throat> <sighs> you just lost your commander. Sorry. Those grenade launchers need to die. Yes, it was quite impressive, I have to say. 
<laughs> Maybe the six to hit, and only five to five or six to hit. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fit. <laughs> <laughs> He compounds it by rolling a fate just after <laughs> losing his commander. <laughs> so this goes back to him. Would you like to use a commander for uh, the raise of fate? Oh, no way, your commander just died. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to roll now, then, or do I just I don't, it? Do you have anything? Uh, the van? Well, the van, the van, I don't think we need to worry about it anymore. Let's no. assume it drives off. No, okay, so... It's now, it's now done the mission. It doesn't have any weapons. Goes he, home. Does, he, he goes okay. away. Yeah. Yeah. He goes. So I'll put down the tokens next to what I have left. So I yep. have one here, one here. Surprisingly, and that's because you activated a lot of guys. Yeah, yeah. Commanders, he's still a So if I can get the walking token. So Let's see if you can do some damage now. He'll walk up to here. Mm -hmm. And fire John Connor. No. <laughs> Grenade no. launcher? No, because my own guy's in the way, kind of. Yeah. So. so. No, you, could fire the grenade launcher. you could, yeah. yeah. So I will fires. fire the grenade launcher, needing five. fives. Two shots, needing fives. Uh, six and a three. One hit. Mm -hmm. Of course, safe for you. Mm -hmm. One plus. Fine. Safe. Fine. <laughs> See, humans are good at hugging the ground for, yeah. for cover to stay alive, unlike you. This one will go to here. <laughs> you fire a missile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fire a missile. At the grenade launcher? At the grenade launcher. <laughs> Need the five, one D eight. Yep. Three. Nope. Missing him. <laughs> and they don't do any skeletons as they used to. <laughs> At the grenade launcher. Come on. <laughs> Two shots. Uh, five, five and a four. four. So one hit. Mm -hmm. Core save. Core save. Five. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> your weapons are useless. Right, I'm one sorry, more guy. I have one more guy. Have your guys been uploading a virus into Skynet again? Yeah. Have you been messing around in the servers? Uh, mm -hmm. This one's going to go up here. This, this is what happens when you go from Windows 7 to 8. <laughs> Things start messing up. And I'll just shoot at the guy on the end. Yep. Okay. And we say that the guy's in the open, definitely. From where you're firing. Mm -hmm. He doesn't get a cover uh, save. Five hit. and a one. One hit. No save. In the middle of the street. Seven. Blown to pieces. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's the end of turn two. A little bit quicker that time. You yeah, well, as people die and you get to know the rules, of course, that things get faster. Yeah. You've, you've missed one. I've you've, missed one? You've missed one. Oh! Ooh! All right. Actually, yeah. before you no, no, no. Good sportsmanship. Yeah, thank I'll, you. I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> so I've yes, missed one of my guys. There's one there. Right mm -hmm. here. Yes. So I'll put a token beside him. Okay. Yes. Uh, he's going to advance to here. Here. You're gonna go for the other grenade launcher. Other grenade launcher. <laughs> so and point shoot blank in. probably. Yeah. 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 Two shots. Four pluses. Uh, one one hit. hit. One hit. No cover. Uh -huh. no cover. Seven. Seven. <laughs> okay. And grenade launcher. <laughs> the one that had a great fun shooting into the <laughs> shooting into the tower finally goes. Yeah. You know what? Die. All right. Well. <laughs> Splattered against the wall. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's call it that. We'll step away and have a chat about how we think that turn went, and then we'll come back for turn three, where I think this may be about to end. So, end of turn two. Uh, John Connor has proved himself, just like in the movies, how tough and resilient this guy is. He has taken shot after shot, where other people have had RPGs to the chest and ran away going... John has just stood there, smoking in his body armor, going... Keep going, Lance. Keep going. Um... The, the, the rest of the, the troop, yeah, they're doing pretty good. That infiltrator was a bit annoying um, to Kyle, got a little bit of a slap across the face and then jumped back and sorted that guy out as well. Uh, he was a hindrance more than an actual threat, I guess. He was definitely way closer to Kyle than he needed to be, um, but he got sorted out in the end. The, the rest of the infantry has moved forward and is now starting to bring the good fight to the machines. Um, my trucks, I'm surprised, need to be a bit more effective, although they did get one this turn. Uh, Grenade launchers have been the men of the match this turn, uh, certainly. Except I lost one. Um, so <laughs> next turn, we need to get a little bit closer uh, to the device. Okay, what the hell happened? Are my, are my endoskeletons still under warranty? I need to call Skynet customer support here. These things have just went from bad to worse. John's tactics have been brilliant. I've been doing my best to plug the gap, but I think I just need to get better dice rolls, to be honest with you. I've been a little unlucky. Uh, overall, next turn, I need to just close up that gap for the final push to keep John away from my time dilation device. 
If he can punch through this turn, it's gonna be a real problem. We'll see what happens. Right, so turn two has been quite quite harsh for the machines. I mean, the, the number of ones you managed to roll on the on the both the D20s and D12s for the test was just astonishing. And on the other end, the humans have been lethal. And John Connor, John Connor, how many bolts to the chest is taken? I don't know, but you know, still there, still going. Keeps passing these tests on the twelves and nines, and keeps going on and pushing everybody forward. So quite astonishing. What I liked the design when I was watching the guys playing is that. Turn one, I had to explain the game to them. So, teaching the game, showing how to do things. Turn two, we're good. <laughs> Nothing to do, they're, they're playing the game happily, fine. You know, that, that's very cool to see. You know, the, they just got into it, swing of it, no problems with rules, moving on, enjoying the game, making army quotes. Great. <laughs> okay, guys, round three. Bet bigger go home time, John. Yes. Uh, right. Uh, let's go for initiative, yeah? Uh huh. So I'm the idiot. He's still alive. I'm He's still alive. He's still alive. He's yep. still there. Yep. Uh, Hanging by a thread. Ooh. Six. Ah. He's getting feel it. He's feeling it. He's feeling tired, isn't mm. he? Yeah. Uh, well, he's he's had a bit of a long day, hadn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't roll a fate. <laughs> uh, one. A one. Okay. Right. Uh, mm. So, I got one token to place somewhere. Mm. I tell you what. Mm -hmm. I still don't like that grenade launcher. You're still going. I'm going after the grenade launcher. So this guy is going to activate, and uh -huh. he's just going to shoot the grenade launcher oh. without moving. Okay. Well, you want to move because if you step into the well, into the uh, thing, that you I'll don't get. Just about here that's then. right. Because that means you are inside a cover. You shoot out, and you don't. So, but he doesn't get a cover save, which okay, is well, he's vital for him. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Grenade launcher again. Yep. Okay. So two d six because he's got a plasma gun. D eight. D eight. Sorry. Uh, six and a four? Uh, probably the four is a miss. It is. So one hit. Okay. Mm -hmm. No save, however. So straight to the... Mm-hmm. Or to damage. Two. Two. <laughs> well, you take a normal test on a I D8. Did. On a D8. Is it the first time you take a test for one of these guys? Because normally they just died. When normally they, they just died, yeah. <laughs> so this time, let's see. Six. six. It's fine. It's fine. He takes it. Damn it! <laughs> They're much braver than your endoskeletons on yeah. D20s. Your fate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I can see just what's going to happen. One. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, you've seen what I've seen, haven't you? Grenade launcher. Clearing the way. No. <laughs> no. No. You're activating John Connor. All right. We are activating John Connor. He's going to activate everyone else. Okay. Come with me if you want to leave. Okay. So he's activating and then passing out another five. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Three, four, and five. While he's still uh, making it. One on you. The extra V. Two. Uh huh. Three. Four. four uh -huh. Five. The Legion. Actually. They are Legion. Five. <laughs> okay. Madness. Now, let me double check before I confirm all that, because okay. I'm just going to check my command. Yep. So all in? Okay. Yeah, they're all in. <laughs> okay. <sighs> right. right. Well, so heavy firepower. Mm. John Connor, and uh, let's, let's, let's try and confirm something. One of these. We had two men in the back plus the, lo the rocket launcher. Yeah, we yeah. can find out yeah. exactly what the ca transport capacity of that thing is. Where's uh, wherever the, your sheet where's went. The, oh, is there? It's over, it's over here. And so uh -huh. we lose John for a second. <laughs> <laughs> tra transport six. Wow. Where well, he's got a gun already, which probably downgrades that to five. to five. Yep. Yep. That's so still mad. One, two, three, four. Oh, so there's only four that can get in because of the way I've used my activations. Yeah, if you want to activate the vehicle as well, then... Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. So, to a I'll have to activate them to move them into it. Yes, sir. So that's right. what I'm going to do. So they jump onto the vehicle. You, you, Connor, you. Can Connor make it? Yeah, he's just he's within. Wounded? Yeah, he's just within the right... Uh, within that. Yeah, is he just about there? He's just about right. Just ah! There. So, all of these people are now in the truck. I'll remove from the barn. Okay. You can leave John Connor there. Leave the Connor guys there. Can just remove from the these. These guys are gonna sit here. here for a bit, and those activation tokens. Yeah, don't forget to take John's wound with him. <laughs> take the wound. <laughs> just because he's sitting down doesn't mean he stopped bleeding. <laughs> yeah. 
he's going to ah. take that with him as well. Okay. And those guys are going to go up here. Right. What's okay. What's the track going to do? So that's those activations okay. sorted. This is going to activate. Okay. And this is going to shoot at... There's a lot of targets there for it. Mm. Uh-huh. Now, don't forget, it's damaged. Yep. So it's down to that D4. Yes. It is. Yeah, you're quite right. It's going to hazard a shot at this. Okay. Just from where it's sat, it's going to hazard a shot four at plus. this. Four plus. So we're in the so four. D4. With the D4. With the D4. Let's have a go. Two. It's no. a miss. That's worth a try. It's good. Yep. Now, activating the truck. Uh-huh. Where's it going? The truck is going to go as hard as possible through this. Just enough space. Into the yard. Okay. So, make your move. Here we go. <laughs> Let's get you... Just past the thing. Just past the Terminators to about there. That'll okay, do. Okay, so you're closing in on the, the facility. Yep. Huh. That can still fire because it's only moved at That's normal correct. Rates, hasn't it? That's correct. It can rotate around, fire okay. a shot on one of the dangerous things. Like, I don't know, this rocket launcher over here. Yes, that rocket launcher <laughs> is offending my eyes. It certainly is. <laughs> I find so. that exoskeleton is carrying me Four plus. Mildly Four plus weapon. on a D6, correct. That's right, yeah. Okay. Ah! It's a yeah, miss. It's a miss. <laughs> okay. Rolling over hard terrain. That was, okay. Yeah. Bouncing all over the place. Uh, look, I tell you what, John. Uh, I'm going to call it at that. Because I think you're about to win. Really? Activate. <laughs> activate the, the oh, protocol. No, no. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. John, I'm giving you the win. So, well played. But I have a cunning plan. <laughs> Skynet, not to be outdone, has one last trick up its sleeve. Yeah, never trust them when they do that. No, I don't. <laughs> hunter killer. What's that? There's a hunter killer oh, yes, flying it's, by. It's a, it's a friendly little thing. <laughs> and drops something. Oh. Mash <laughs> <laughs> lands in front of you. <laughs> I'm beginning to think our argument about using an aircraft at the start has made things a little unfair for me at the end of this. Spy the tank. Spy the tank. Uh, look, <coughs> this was meant to be a demo game, guys. I've had fun. I'm giving the win to John because he has played really well. But there's one mechanic we haven't shown off in this game, which I want to actually use this to illustrate. Right. Which is the opposed TDD mechanic. Which okay. is going back in time to actually stop something happening. Right. So I want to show off that mechanic. So here's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. If I win this roll, and I'm making a bet of this. Right. If I win this roll, okay. this will fight for me. Okay. If you win this roll, okay. you've gone back in time and reprogrammed it to fight for the resistance. Which will be bad for the machines, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be bad for either of us, but I want to see this thing on the tabletop. And so I'm giving it either way. Okay. Okay? Yep. So, Alessio, let's say both myself and John still had two TDDs each. Yep, indeed. Mm -hmm. So, what would John be sending back? Well, if, uh, if you have normal TDDs, that means sending a T-800. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you can upgrade your TDDs, so you could be sending back a higher model T-800, mm -hmm. like a Terminatrix. Or if you really spend a lot of points and upgrade your max to the maximum, you can send a T1000, which means you roll a D20. Mm. Because basically, if you are opposing the, the reroll, so you're saying, I send somebody to get a reroll. No, I send somebody to stop you from getting that reroll. Yeah. You have a little uh, roll-off between the, the, the two agents in the past mm -hmm. to see which one survives and which one the mission yeah. succeeds or not, whether you get the reroll or not. Mm -hmm. And normally it's a D8 against a D8, but both players can upgrade that to different things. Yeah. Uh, humans can upgrade it up to a D12. As in, you're sending a hero as opposed to a normal guy. Yeah. yeah. Or you can upgrade it up to a D20, sending a <laughs> T1000. Yeah. Well, you see, I, I actually want to use it just as a little narrative mechanic in this, which I think is quite fun. Mm -hmm. You know, to actually see who took control of the big nasty earlier in the game. It's almost like instead of doing just a roll off, which would be the normal rules, mm -hmm. by the power of uh, <clears throat> huge resources here, All what right. we could do is something even more grand. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, John. To decide the end of this, you and me will go have another battle sometime, mm -hmm. and we'll see what happens. A little mission to hack mission into, the, the okay. into the into the into the spider tank and to decide on which okay. side that spider tank is going to so, fight. Okay. Basically, what we're saying, right, to be continued. <clears throat> what we're saying is we're not using these. Yeah. We're sending ourselves back in time. <laughs> That's right. You are the agent. <laughs> <laughs> use, okay. a, use a T-1000, man. What happened? <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> uh, right, anyway, Alessio, thank you for teaching us to play Terminator. Right. Yeah, it's it's been, been a lot, a lot of fun. It's been, been brilliant. It's no. been fun. Obviously, this shows that the game can work for narrative scenarios. Yeah. This is definitely what I would call a narrative scenario, where there's a mission, it's made up, but you, a lot of cool that's, stuff happens. That's a fun thing to do. When you have the creator of the game here, you may as well yeah, have fun with it. So that's, that's, I mean, in the book has sections, one of which mm. is on narrative scenarios, which is exactly this, almost like, you know, almost role-play-esque. Mm. So you have a, a GM doing cool yeah. stuff happen. Mm -hmm. And then you have another faction, another way of playing the game, which is still in there, of course, which is the more you know normal, running up a fight, pick an army, five hundred points, mm -hmm. thousand points, points values, army lists, and then play one of the scenarios, ro rolling you know thirty six different. So uh, you you can play pick and play like that, mm -hmm. you can play narrative like this. Yeah, well, up to you. Hopefully everybody out there enjoyed it. Drop your comments below. What do you think? Have you enjoyed learning to play Terminator Genesis with us? Uh, we'll move on, and we'll see you in another video. Games of War brings you the battles of World War II in epic 15mm scale. Go to the hub on beastsofwar.com to find news, tactics and tutorials about the game. Progress comes to a world of magic as science and the arcane combine to make marvels. Meet steampunk inventors and orc mystics at the Volsung hub on beastsofwar.com. We'll be back. back.